welcome. Uh, this is the the pre-stream bit. I'm not live yet, but I but I will be shortly. I'm I'm Vince, also known as um, Pleasant Kenobi on the internet, and welcome to the joy of punting. Hmm. Um. Yes, this is my stream. I will make some mistakes. That bit is absolutely, absolutely going to happen. But as long as you're here along the way for these happy little mistakes, that's what I like to call punts, happy little mistakes. Well, it's worth it then, isn't it? Uh, whilst you're waiting, if you would like to click down below, I can't move ahead too much because of the, the way this image is made, but if you'd like to click the image down below, trying to point with my nose, it's not working. Uh, the, down below there's some links. Um, you can join my Patreon via this. Uh, you can you can you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you're really missing out on where all the action and magic happens. Oh, okay, I guess I should, yeah, I should explain how you can support me as well, right? So the Patreon, you can sign up for like two bucks a month. It's less than a booster pack, and that allows you to be on the Discord server where you can hang out with me and other patrons and talk shit, see when I'm getting getting low and pissed off at magic for losing a lot, or when I'm happy because I'm just wrecking fools because it's better to be lucky than good. All those things and more. A giant hentai. Um, all that sort of stuff. All of the Discord. There's other tiers as well. There's a splicer tier where we, we talk once a week in a voice call and you get to submit decks and stuff. But have a look on there. That explains it all there. Uh, you can subscribe to me here on Twitch. On YouTube, it's free. It's the best free way to subscribe and support me is to just subscribe on YouTube. So if you haven't already, please go fucking do it. Um, but you can subscribe here on Twitch. Uh, there's a button up there. Again, talking about my arms, my hands is really weird. Do you like jazz? Jazz. Jazz. So yeah, you can subscribe with the button above my head. I'm pointing with my hand, but you can't see it. Uh, if you're on Twitch Prime, it's free. Otherwise, you can throw a few bucks into the into the Quaso well, and I will take some percentage of that. Hopefully, a good percentage when I get partner. This is maybe another affiliate. Hopefully, in a few months' time, we'll look back and be like, "Haha, remember when you said you weren't you weren't partner in that Twitch intro?" Okay, I filled three minutes of dead time. Um, hang on. That might have been my hand, that might have been someone else's hand. I guess you just never know. Stop it. So yeah, I, I kind of like my intro to be about 10 minutes long. Uh, sometimes I take 10 minutes to get set up. I'll load up OBS and something will be broken. What else? What else? I upload once a week to Channel Fireball's YouTube channel. The comment section are mean there. Uh, I have Dice to Removal, a podcast. Just Google Dice to Removal. Check out the Telerian Community College's YouTube channel. Where me and the professor shoot the shit with regards to magic. A twit. Twi twi not Twitch. This is Twitch. Twitter. Twitter's good. I, um... I'm very active on Twitter. It's a good way to get hold of me, to ask me questions, to engage with me. Go follow me over there as well. Instagram's pretty good. I post pictures of my dog. Post pictures of me. I've realized my fans have been this whole time. I hope that's not made a lot of noise. Bollocks. I guess I'll turn that off now. Ah, fuck. But yeah, Instagram. Picture my dog. Picture me. Picture food. Magic cards. It's, it's pretty good. I enjoy Instagram. You get to make artsy fartsy photos and stuff. Some of mine are artsy fartsy. Some of them are. Actually, the majority of them are just like spare the moment thing. Yeah. Um. Birds. Yeah, so jazz. I like jazz, right? Everyone like jazz? This one's more smooth jazz. Oh man, this is so itchy right now. Fuck. Thanks, Bob Ross. Um. Yeah, just gonna hang out here for a little bit. Do boop ba doo. Jazz. Jazz. If this comes out really well, I'm going to be upset that you only see it for the first 10 minutes of a stream. 10 or so minutes. I'll probably make it only 7. 
seven minutes of me fucking about. I could just like play some like like an image of a seaside here now, couldn't I? Like this. And I'm back. Bob Ross with a seaside for a face is pretty weird. If you like this, can we get some uh, capital letter hype in the chat, please? Right now. At the end of the stream, we shall be raiding someone else. Normally raiding down someone with a smaller viewership than us. To share the love. Sometimes up if I want to, you know, network. But, um, yeah, so we're going to uh, raid someone. So if I say that the stream's coming to an end, it's our last game, I'm about to go, please don't fucking log off. Stick around, okay? It hurts my pride when we raid with only like half the percentage of the people. Yeah, half the percentage? 50% of the people that were actually in here originally. It hurts my pride. <coughs> so don't do that. Oh, chat rules. Be nice to one another. Don't be a dick. That's kind of it, really. Oh, there's a donation button down below. You can give bits as well if you want to support. Um, sharing my videos is a great way of supporting the channel. Like, if you have friends you think will enjoy my videos, fucking show them to them. Anyway, I guess, with only with only a few more seconds to go, we should play some magic. So welcome to Pleasant Kenobi's Wonder Emporium. The punt shunt. That's not even a term. The joy of punting. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, this is the the pre-stream bit. I'm not live yet. But I but I will be shortly. I'm I'm Vince, also known as um Pleasant Kenobi on the internet, and welcome to the joy of punting. Hmm. Um, yes, this is my stream. I will make some mistakes. That bit is absolutely, absolutely going to happen. But as long as you're here, along the way, for these happy little mistakes, that's what I like to call punts, happy little mistakes, well, it's worth it then, isn't it? Uh, whilst you're waiting, if you would like to click down below, I can't move my head too much because of the, the way this image is made, but if you'd like to click the image down below trying to point with my nose is not working uh the, down below there's some links um you can join my patreon via this uh you can you can you can go to my youtube channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the youtube channel you're really missing out on where all the action and magic happens oh i guess I should, yeah i should explain how you can support me as well right so the patreon you can sign up for like two bucks a month. It's less than a booster pack. And Hello, chat. Oh, yep. Oh, sound. Yep. Rob, speak for me. Speaking for you. Good there we go. Chat. I need to put some light in my room. I need to put the light on behind my head. Another one. Let's put some fucking lights on. We'll go with red today, I guess, because we're playing gobbos. There we go. Right. Let's talk about this fucking monstrosity then, shall we? <laughs> right, chat. Hello. Oh, <laughs> hello, everybody. Who is in chat? Let's say hello. So, one plus one plus one, like seven, lol. Your name is Madness. Edible Blastoise, Robert's mother's brother. Pat Jammer says, Sup all. First time catching PK Live. Hoping it would cheer me up. Tired of being an American right now. Look, we've, we've all got it, mate. We've all got it. My my fellow countrymen are obsessed with the idea that Boris Johnson's the fucking saviour of the universe. And he's a complete and utter cunt. It's a good way to start the stream, isn't it? Talk about the Tories. Uh, let me just change <laughs> the brightness of my camera. Because during... Can it not, like, auto-do this? The piece of shit. That's better. There we go. Good old bit of exposure. You can die from exposure, Rob. So I hear. Uh, MTG Pyro, zero, zero, Mr. Beaksman. What was my mother's brother? Fix doll. Sco dude, four, 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 have you seen? Have you seen some of these fucking no, contenders? Right 
Impressing the heck. And Vat Jones, thank you as well for our first news update. And Madvid, Madvid44. How mad are your vids, Madvid? Are we talking like stapling your nuts to a piece of wood like jackass? Are we talking like. No, are you doing right now? What kind of Madvid are we talking about? Impressing the heck out of me. Hello, chap. I'm Vince, also a person connected on the internet. Today, I'm joined with not Rob's mother's brother, who's in the chat, but with White Robert. Hello. How are you doing today, Rob? No, are you doing I'm right good, now? thank you, Vince. How Impressing are you? That I'm pretty good. Me. Did I, the um, stream freeze? Did the stream freeze? Not for me, jo Jojo Walker. I'm good. I uh, played some modern today, recorded a bit. That'll be going up on the stream, on the, on the YouTube channel tonight after we finish streaming. I streamed a little bit of League earlier. I played with your brother. Your brother actually played quite well. We won a game. It was good. Excellent. Well done, Pete. Um, and then we, I, I won one. Then I, then I lost. No, no. Then we lost a close one. Then we lost. A, then we lost a ridiculous game where um, our teammates were apparently they were all like bronze. We just got paired with two bronze people for no reason, Bob. Oh. And they were like, like they didn't know how a map worked. <laughs> <laughs> also, Rob, I'm chat restricted on League because I was calling someone a fucking idiot two nights ago. Like I, I was really, I called my fucking idiot like six times. Apparently, okay. it, it auto finds that, and then I got chat restricted. So that's fun. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can't communicate with my team in the games now. So, like, we're losing games where I'm like, don't go to Dragon, don't go to Dragon. And I can't tell them that because I can't type. So, <laughs> that's good. No, just the forgotten one was taken when I started using the name. Ah, I see. I see. Is there any other way to communicate with League? Probably not. Right. So, I am professional. Rob, you're here to, to, to like, to speak softly into my ear as we play Yorian Goblins. Now, to explain when, when my stream catches up, because we've currently got a black screen. Are we going to... Uh, there we go. Uh, Rob wanted to play this when he saw a Goblin Lackey tweet about it. Which is fair enough. I'm not going to put all the blame on Rob, but I'm going to put most of it on him. And then what happened was Goblin Lackey moved on to play Loras Goblins. Because the deck isn't garbage. And I tweeted a poll saying, shall we play Loras Goblins or Yorian Goblins? Uh, for those that don't know, these are both two different types of companion the lowest one meaning your cmc of your opponents are two or less but you can replay things from graveyards yorian is play 80 cards and make your deck less consistent so twitter <laughs> twitter voted for yorian of course so here we are with an 80 card deck now we're five cards over at the moment because before the stream started myself and rob were talking about imperial recruiter now the reason we talk about imperial recruiter is a it's very good with yorian but b it gets every, almost every single card in our deck barring the only card it doesn't pick up is krenko lightning crafter goblin trash master goblin chain whirler and i think that's it okay so i want to add like two to three recruiters and i kind of want to add a krenko now adding krenko is a card that we can't recruit for so we probably have to cut one of our unrecruitables so it's between krenko and crafter again at that point I'm going to cut the Krenko. I'm just going to stop being stupid. I just want to play Krenko, but I shouldn't. That's basically where we're at, right? <laughs> then, I guess more War Marshal is a bit shit. Like, it's almost good to have access to one, right? Do we have access to one? Yeah, we have access to one. So we can trim a Crater Maker, perhaps. Trim a Settler. I, I don't want to trim the Settler. Like... We've got so many tutors. I think it's good to have an answer for lands in the game in, in game one. Sure. If we try and fit in two recruiters, then cut Corey. Mate, we need to make one more cut. Just one gem palm? Uh, yeah. And, and gem palm doesn't go face, so. Yeah. It's like so a we, poor man's so, munitions expert. So here's our removal spells. Is these, I guess, chain is half a removal spell. Lightning crafter. We'll still have nine of them. Okay, yeah. that'll do. That'll do. Why not Wooburg Goblins? Because Wooburg Goblins would be... Shit. Sorry, Spider Joanna. I don't want to be so dismissive, but <laughs> like <laughs> you could just come in and say, like, why not donkey shit in your mouth? And then I've got to explain why not, right? So if you're gonna come in here with this Wubo Goblin nonsense, either stick a cap on the end of it so I know you're fucking joking. Or give me reason to actually want to do that. Right, Legacy League. Let's fucking go. Do I have any play points? I have play points coming out my ass. Yorion Gobbos. 
I could ex- Oh, no sharpshoot. Oh, fuck. I knew I was forgetting something. Too late. Signed up now. Let's go. You can't spend all day, every day looking for cards. Fun fact. There's a Candlelander video coming out later this week on the channel. Myself and Benjamin Wheeler. I play d &T. And in our third match, he we're looking at each other's lists while we're playing and talking it through. And he says, why aren't you playing Stoneforge Mystic? And I reply, because it's true. I say, oh, I forgot. So yeah, just didn't... Mm. Just didn't play Stone Force <laughs> Mystic. I typed it all out by hand from memory. Oh, Hype Train 1. Let's show that emo. It looks like a little... Oh, a little cherry. Ooh. A little cherry. So, yeah, I just forgot Stone Force Mystic. I'm a fucking idiot. Do you have all the equipment and stuff? Yeah, I had uh, two swords. <laughs> uh, jit that I had is pointed, so I had Jit in there. Stone Force recently been unpointed in Canlander as well, so it's basically free to play. I had a bat score. And worst of all, Rob, I had Steel Shaper's Gift as my second copy of Stone Forge. <laughs> I just forgot. I just literally forgot. It's easily done. Right. Let's reveal our Pokemon to our opponent. Let's click OK. Let's see if our opponent reveals a Pokemon. Do they reveal a Pokemon? No. They but they do, but yeah, they do. Sorry, what am I saying no for? They, they do. They are the rest egg. Which is probably what we're gonna play five times today, because the it's pretty good. Okay, we've got a one drop, two drop, three drop. What more could you ask for? Battle sounds. Oh for God's sake. Fucking Modo. Fucking Modo. Let's fix that quickly. Go to face cam. Sound settings. I swear they reset every time I fucking use this. Do they reset for you, Rob? No. For the record, chat, have a look. Alerts. I'm just going to turn Modo sounds off completely. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. Play your battle sounds. Oh, fuck. What you mean is one of these, right? Oh, my Pokemon battle sounds. I'm not going to play that one today. I'm going to play this one instead. This is a new game. Right, we're not going to leave with a non-basic. Because we don't want to get wasted on that of the game. We're going to leave with a basic snow-covered mountain and play a Churion. Churion? Goblin? Sh Surgeon? Surgeon? Surgeon. Surgeon. Is that pronounced Surgeon, Rob? Yeah. Have we got a card for General Kurzog? No, what are you doing right uh, now? Impressing uh, the heck out of me. If not, I demand one. So. Ghost Quarter from my opponent. Mox Amber from my opponent. This looks like it might be the new DNT variant. Petal. Oh my Petal. god. They're just going to get to cast Lois and replay the Lotus Petal out of the bin. That's pretty good. On the upside, they're going to play Petal past turn and we're going to kill the Lurus, hopefully. Unless they now go Petal, Crack, make White with Mox Amber and play a Thalia or something. That'd be pretty... Oh, just, just a casual Tomic. Okay. Cool. Fine. Cool. Thank you for the uh, the, the resub. No, narcotic Wings, welcome. So this is DNT now. DNT doesn't play three drops anymore. It's just a Lurus deck. Oh. This won the, this won the challenge. Lurus is not long for this world. If any of the yeah. companions do survive, Lurus will be one of the ones that definitely fucking doesn't. So we're just going to munitions expert the Lurus, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Question is, do we get a non-basic? Would we get a basic? Let's get a basic. With this one. Say, fetch. Basic. Yeah, they can go scores off the Black Source because we only have one swap, but then we can always crack the Iron Mesa for Badlands later down the line. Mm. Lois count 100 thank you for the forgotten one for keeping count of how many Lois's we see tonight let's go ahead and fl oh, we can flash this in but i'm going to kill this now before they have any mana up Lois, like most cats is a cunt says mr zetsu i agree <laughs> whilst lin and arbiter is cat jesus Lois is cat satan oh their deck rob is by the way is playing lin and arbiter i mean oh, this okay. is this is what i was going to stream until you politely asked can we play this and i was like yeah go on then <laughs> so I wanted to I wanted to play Lois Duty, which we still can if this deck turns out to be an absolute steaming pile of dog. Oh, yeah. Is it Lois's or Lurai? I don't know. Ask Wizards of the Coast. I'm sure they'll have complete Oh no, no no, it's not about game balancing, so they'll probably actually talk about it. Actually, do you know what? From the conventions of the English language it's Lois's, because you don't you don't you don't pluralise people's names. Like exactly. multiple Sarahs no. aren't Sarai's. That would be fucking stupid. That bounces up a Shalik Mons. Interesting. Good job we got a Wasteland, isn't it? 
We have zero cards in hand. We can't waste that there because of the fucking Tomic. So we can play Vashalic Mons and sack our entire board to kill the Tomic. Doesn't seem too hot. Doesn't seem strong. Ringleader, eh? Okay, we can port them. We can't even port them next turn. Fuck. God damn you, Tomic, you piece of shit. I guess we just play Pashalic Mons to force them to use their Caracas on our end step, and that doesn't do anything. And yeah. Hmm. Not ideal. Nope. They're, they're, their opener was quite all in, and they aren't really doing anything with it. They just played a Lurus, had it killed, and now they're going to hit us with a 2-3 over and over. Oh, I didn't play the Pachelic Mons. It doesn't matter. They're just going to bounce it and untap, right? <laughs> like, it literally doesn't do anything. We're probably better off holding the mana up. Lead an Arbiter. They can now Ghost Quarter us off a land. We can pay for it, though. Yep. So we probably just hold up our mana now for a little while. Although their bodies are bigger than ours, so I might just slam Ring Leader and let them go as quarter us to get it out of the way. Yeah, I think we need to be more proactive. We won't be using Sarah Mesa though, while the ghost or the Arbiter is in play. Um Maybe just draw another munitions text. Oh! I was trying to say it before it happened just in case. <laughs> there it is! Oh! Woo! Um. Okay, so now we kill the Tomic. And then we can port the Caracas waste on the Ghost Quarter. Because the Tomic be dead means the Amber doesn't do anything. Incoming munitions expert. You can Ghost Court me now if you like, friend. I kind of want you to. No, I kind of want right you to. Now. Impressing the heck out of me. No, because if they commit to the Ghost Quarter, we get to waste them off no mana next turn. So I'm okay with them Ghost Quartering me. Another one. Thank you, Iron Wolf 879 for 18 months, and welcome back. Thanks for supporting me and what I do. There'll be a new video tonight after the stream. Another. It one. might be featuring this young man here. Tell me not being symmetrical is dumb. Well, War of the Spike, nothing was fucking symmetrical, was it? So <laughs> I'm glad at least one of the white hate cards got to be that way. Also, the new white hate card from Corey is not symmetrical either. Draneth the Magistrate. Hello, yellow. Flashed. Oh, excuse me. Bob, I've, I've had a load of ice cream before we started. Another one. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, you know? You okay, Rob? Guess he's Another dead. Another one. We've all got to die sometime. Chat, can you hear me? Because my opponent seems to have dissed. Rob seems to have dissed. Chat, send me a sign. Please type the word milk or put milk emojis in. Yeah, there we one. go. Milk test one, two, one, two. Oh, is Discord just having a shitter? Another one. If you're subbed, you get access to this beautiful milk emoji. Just just saying. I'm not saying you have to. I'm not saying you have to. But you definitely can sub with a button above my head. Like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that bell button. Okay, so our opponent's just having a long old think. Don't know what about, but they're just having a chat. Um, no, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Dutch Rutter? Isn't that like a. Isn't the Dutch Rutter some sort of like sexual act? But I assume you're not Dutch Rutter. 020. Are you Dutch though? That's the question. And Midichlorian no, Knight. Right Impressing Ooh. the heck out You've named yourself after something from the prequel trilogies. That is fucking brave. 
brutality. Um, sub. Oh, the Milky Moats in tier two because I can't add it into tier one because I'm not partner yet. I am reapplying for partner at the end of the week, by the way, because I've been streaming quite a lot lately alongside all the other content that I've been putting out. So there will be more emotes coming soon. I should actually check how many emotes I've way. got because, oh, our opponent has disconnected. We're having a fun game of magic slash Pokemon TCG. Isn't it interesting that they added the... Let's just go to full face camp for the moment. Isn't it interesting that they gave us the Theros energy lands that look like Pokemon energy and then the next set gave us companions? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Nothing. Shut up, Padas, you fuck. They have zero cards in hand, that's right. So when this ends the battlefield, it's going to kill that Another turn. one. We're then going to play a wasteland. We're going to wasteland that Caracas. They could... To be fair... To be fair... We're in a situation where if, if they if they goes quarter our red source, our next turn we can just pay for the pay for the uh, arbiter. Hasbro rebuying the penalties to license and will soon be offering cross game paper tournaments. Paper tournaments? <laughs> Are you having a laugh? Goodbye DCI. Goodbye planes pocket points. Goodbye paper magic. I'm joking. I, I assume paper magic will will survive. I just don't Another know. Another one. How much wizards give a shit about that? T wizards of the Coast taking it back old school. They want to relive the old days where they made the Pokemon TCG 2. Yeah, maybe. 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 Teferi Companion in Core 21. Oh! <laughs> Can you imagine Companion Planeswalkers? When... Do you know what? There's going to be there's gonna be a two-mana Teferi in Core 2021. Right? I did a prediction video and talked about this. And that's going to be a, a Lurus Companion Control deck. That's right. And it's going to be fucking dreadful. Know what you're doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Bazinga to the best milk-covered beard in magic. Trouser Snake. Bazinga. I'll, I'll hit you with the Bazinga. Bazinga. Another one. Bazinga. 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 Zero mana force of Teferi. Fuck it, Christ. So when I log into my store event with my Wizards account, are my opponents going to see my name? Or will it just be my Reno ID on the match screen? Who knows? Maybe it'll just be the word Bazinga in capital letters. Hello, Tengu. How are you doing, my friend? What's wrong with companion planeswalkers, mate? Look, the screen's red. You're into red. You like red decks, don't you, my friend? God, my hair is shit right now. I'm going to wax my hair in a second. Just to, like, feel like I'm, you know, looking beautiful for you people at home. We're chilling because our opponent, like a villain, has disconnected. Rob's also disconnected. According to Ape in the chat, Rob's brother, who's in a room with, Rob, with them, not with Rob, with them, on the Discord, also disconnected. Um... Did I hear something from Rob? Rob, are you there? Just may maybe this is the end of the world. Maybe that's it. Earthquake is also having issues. Oh, maybe it's just England. Maybe I'm getting lucky today by not having issues. Well, I guess our opponent will eventually disconnect. And then we can move on with our lives. Or they'll reconnect and we can play some magic. Either either one, fine by me. Fine by me, chat. Fine by me. Maybe you're the problem. Uh, I'm still the one connected. I can talk to all of y'all. And our game is still connected, so... Goblin Lackey isn't in the chat. I didn't tag Goblin Lackey in the going live post. I should have. I should have. I did say earlier that they inspired myself and Rob to play this today. Oh. All right. Okay. Well, on to round two then. I guess I should play a victory theme.
Yep, that's right. We won. Okay. GG, well played. We did get him. We did get him. It was a pretty close game. It's a pretty close game. Uh, we're going to choose Yorion as our Pokemon. I wonder if we can get everyone to start calling it a Pokemon instead of a commander or a companion. Uh, this hand seems fine. We've got Lackey. We've got Recruiter, which is funny because if that was a Matron, we could actually do some good shit. It's actually quite a bad Lackey hand, honestly. Virgin's internet has gone down. Okay. Okay, that's not great. The last match you were seeing until our opponent disconnected. Once upon a time, what's playing once upon a time in Legacy these days? Sylvan Plug, um, Irish Reclaimer, some sort of Dark Depths deck, Turbo Depths. Depths. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I forgot, but I didn't think of depth until I saw the reclaim of it. Oh, depths. Here we can see the problem of Lackey. Um, I'm going to protect my prospect by not just firing it out in case they have a decay. We'll probably be using our Lackey as a mana ritual for this Goblin Ringleader eventually. Draw a Black Soul so we can kill the Reclaimer early. Or not. Uh, we can also cycle the Gem Palm Recruit to kill one of them, actually. So if they attack with one Reclaimer, we can... Oh, this is Elves. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. Well, we've got Pyrokinesis in our sideboard, so we've got that. We probably need to kill that Heritage Druid, honestly. I mean, they've got a Birch Ranger as well, so that's basically just as bad, but... I guess tapping the Gaia's Cradle might have been better, but... I don't know. They've got Elvish Reclaimers, they can just... They can just set the Cradle off and go get another Cradle, right? Oh, I'm an idiot. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. For a minute, I was like, it doesn't kill it. We only have one goblin. That's because I'm not killing a reclaimer. Wow, they're tapping for mana in my turn. Okay, drawing a card. We drew Aether Vial. And we drew Astrolabe. Next time we might be playing Astrolabe, hopefully hitting a land and playing our Vial. Or playing Astrolabe and porting them. Or maybe we just play Vile and port them if we draw another land. I'm not feeling confident about this game, honestly. If we draw Chain Whirler, not that we can cast off our port. Sure, bog my incinerator. Makes sense. No attacks, okay. We drew another lackey. Okay, let's go. No, what are you doing right now? Just it trying to hit another land. Heck out of me. This will be a 50 month streak one day. Oh. Always fun to catch you playing magic on stream today is no exception. Hello, burn after burn. Bob's back. Let me bring Thank you, Burn After Burn. I appreciate you. And one day it will be 50 months. And that on that day I will blow you a kiss, but not before. You must earn your kiss. 50 months of dedication. Hello, Rob? Rob, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Well, I've called him and I've shared screen with him, so hopefully he'll appear. Can you hear me? Another one. Do we port a vial here? I think we take the turn to Vile, Port. because then we can actually start using the Vile, like Scope Prospector. Oh, I, you can hear him. I can't hear him. Oh, these fucking headphones. I need to fix this cable. <laughs> there we go. Rob, talk? Talking. Hello. There we go. Hooray. Yes, some issues with Virgin Media I've been 
told. Yeah, apparently loads of people went. Our opponent disc as well, so we got a free win, Rob. <laughs> Oh, so, you know. Yes, I saw that. They, for some reason, like, this call didn't connect. Everything else, not, the chat didn't work, but I could still see the stream. So clearly, Branson's got his priorities in order. Yeah, I guess the Twitch server was okay. So. They're going to sack the Rajukabog. Go get another Rudden or something. Get a Dryad up. Okay. Mm. That makes Recruiter for... But we can't get Chain Wheeler. Chain Wheeler can't be got with the Recruiter, which is a shame. Two three fours, two dried arbors. That gear's crazy. We'll have to port for the rest of time. Another now. one, basically, yeah. Oh, another <laughs> cradle. Okay. Yeah, it's a fresh one. I think as reclaimer gives them like an out to uh, porting anyway. Green sense for eight. Let's make sure they've got the hoof. Boingy, boingy, boingy. We're dead. Okay, cool. Let's go to board. In our board, we have access to two copies of Pyrokinesis, so that's definitely something. Mm -hmm. Another that? one. Def no, definitely slants is shit. Needle yep. is shit. Grafting yep. is okay. Yeah. Well, it stops them fetching Dried Arbor as well. So it can make their credit lines a lot worse. And it means their green suns are turned off completely. So that turns off like five of their hoofs. Ha. Ah, that makes it worthwhile. Yeah. We're going to bring in those three then. We're going to cut Trash Master. A singular recruiter. Mm -hmm. Maybe both recruiters, because... Like none, none of our... We, tutoring up any, okay, tutoring up any of our goblins gives us an answer. That's the question. Well, it doesn't get Chain Water, but it does get Landy destruction one. So... Set there. Yeah, let's keep one recruiter in then. Let's cut a war chief. For the war chief and the tribe! Oh, natural order gets turned off by the uh, cage as well. Yeah, good point. So actually, we turn off like eight of their hooves. Would that okay, first? I would love to yeah. play first. Let's choose our Pokemon. Did you use Sky Narwhal? Say again? Uh, Sky Narwhal. What about him? That's what we chose. No, it's not. It's a snake Another bird. One. It's a flying... No. no. No, that's a tongue, Rob. It's a bird serpent. Oh, I thought it was a horn. <laughs> Rob's always got horns on the brain. Yeah, I do. It's a, it's a thing. It's a disease. Right, let's go snow-covered mountain <laughs> into Revile. Are we really keeping this on the strength of Crater Maker? Uh, Crater Maker kills a key piece. War Chief gives our dudes haste. Also, Vile means we can deploy quickly. We kind of just need to hit a recruiter or a... Uh, sorry, card of or shooter. That's what we need to yeah. hit. Okay. Green Suns for zero to get a dry up. Okay. Sagrid so Cage would have been there. Their, their Green Suns would have done nothing. They wouldn't even be able to lift it. Right. Untap. Now, we probably just need to deploy the second Vile because of uh, Rex Sage. Let's see what we draw. Okay, land's not bad. <clears throat> land isn't terrible. I think we surprise him with the crater maker. Like playing out now allows them to play around it and like um mold their game plan around us, shooting one of their creatures dead. So we avoid that where we can. We need to make a skirt prospect in the end step. We'll keep the Ad Mesa up to get Badlands or Plateau, depending on what we need. I might end up caverning for our commander, because we're currently two color sources off of it. <laughs> Virtual Rangers, sure. Why would Symbiote? Sure. <sighs> Elves doing elf things. God, I'll hope we draw chain wheel next turn. That would be rad. Be fucking so good. Well, they can save this with the wired symbiote. Untap and say yes to triggers. Tick up. Yes. Tick up. Yes. Lucky. Okay. Mm. So I play this on bird. Oh. 
So now we're one astrolabe away from casting. No, we're still two mana off. I was thinking of playing Warchief there, but I guess... What's well, a good replacement for Aethervile? That's the problem with Axis Altura. There isn't a replacement for Aethervile. Yeah, I think we have to keep, like, Crater Maker on our Pokeball. So that we can kill... I don't know. I don't know. We probably have to cut a Symbiote, honestly. I haven't ranted about DCI numbers going away as anything out, because the, the system is, like, fucking antiquated anyway, and the website doesn't really work. Um, but yeah, we're just dead. We're just dead. Let's go ahead and make this. Let's minimize it. We're not dead, sorry. We can minimize the damage here. Kill this. And then we're going to take eight. 9, 10, 11, plus number 6. 17 damage, Rob. <laughs> Perfect. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, no. We're not dead. Okay, cool. Just so protection from everything. Okay, we need to kill them suddenly somehow. Um, I guess we just take 3 here. It doesn't change the clock. The presenter's clock. <laughs> End of turn, make a lackey. Did we leave Krenko in? We didn't, did we? Because Krenko, like, would be a good card for us to skirk into and then start just making fucking gobblers off of. And... But we don't, so we can't. Tick up. Now, it means that they knew that we wouldn't be able to kill them with that, so they didn't bother. That's what that means. Ah. Um, okay. So, we're going to get hit for 10, and then we really need to draw, like, uh, what the fuck's it called? Sling Gang Lieutenant? To, like, <laughs> To like <laughs> pad out our life total, but Sling Gang Lieutenant gives us one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Sling Gang Lieutenant is like our only way to survive another hit from Chose after this because it put us to 12. We sack most of our board. It's not good, but it's something. It's not good, but it's the only thing we have, so. Yep. Hello, Naki. A player, Birchlaw Rangers. Morphed. They go to combat. They spend with everything. They don't. Fucking cowards. Let's go ahead and make a Coblin Warchief. Then let's make a Crater Maker. Crater Maker? Goblin Expert, whatever the fuck it's called. Munitions Expert. Kill the 3 4. Take 10 and go to 6. <laughs> <laughs> and now we need to draw like uh, ringleaders, recruiters, or sling gang lieutenant commander thing to maybe survive. Go to six. Come on, one of the good top decks. I'm going to tick both of these up. Now, do we leave one on two? Three mana, four and two. We leave one on two. Tons of twos. And we've got three mana. We've got loads of mana if you count our scope prospector. Oof. <laughs> that ain't it, Chief. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. No, no, Patters. You can't flicker their stuff. Yeah. It doesn't have flash. Flicking their projectors doesn't do anything. They can't. Well, they could if they had a Yorian, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't see what relevance that has right now, Paz, because they don't have a Yorian. But thanks for thanks for the heads up, Paz. <laughs> I appreciate you filling me in on that. Hello, decidedly, Ugin, and thank you. I'm finishing off my first glass of water. Because that was a fucking train wreck. Yep. So what's the point of an 80-card aggro deck? If you think Goblins is an aggro deck, then you need to go back to the... Go back to school, Frexian agent! The point of an 80 card... And also, just the size of your deck doesn't tell you whether you're an aggressive deck or not. Like, there are aggressive decks in Canlander. 
Yeah, exactly. If your deck is 81 <laughs> drops, then yeah, it's probably an aggro deck. I actually think perhaps 40 uh, mountains, and, no, 20 mountains and 80 lightning bolts might be one of the greatest aggro decks of all time, and the maximum, that the size of it doesn't really matter, right? It's not about the size, it's about how you use it. There we go, I'll adapt to that. But you want Agrodex to be as consistent as possible. Yeah, so you could play 100 cards of the same card. Like, Yeah, that's consistency. <laughs> like, A, we're not on Agrodex, was my first point. And B, you can play the same cards. Okay, we're one line up against the Power Matrons. Um, we've got Munition Expert on turn two, so we can kill like a Thalia. Hmm. Got 30 more lands in our deck. At least keep one strength of the um, tutors. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, goblins can do many things. It can be an aristocrat's deck, it can be a control deck, it can be a disruptive aggro deck. It's got like it's probably more. It's got more in common with death and taxes than it has with burn. That's the that's the, probably the most another like, one. Where well, I put it, I guess Delver also plays wastelands too. But like like goblins traditionally plays um, uh, ports as well. They are. Garados Stompy, I always forget the name of it. So maybe is our shooters good? Trash Mash will be pretty good if we can get there before they stompy us. Mm -hmm. Two mana monolith. Oh, they're gonna fucking stompy us next turn! Oh no, maybe this turn? Maybe this turn? Oh dear. Wow, I didn't know they played that. Wow. Oh, it's, it's, a, a, flicker. it's, a, it's a flicker thing, isn't it? So. Uh -huh. Okay. God, this is a deck I want to play on stream, but here we are playing goblins. It's all your fault, <laughs> Rob. Uh, okay, so they're going to cast this next turn. Hopefully they whiff. Watch them put four of our lands in the bin and we untap with no lands. Have no souls on Guy Ruda. No, on Kraken. Right? Demon? They picked Demon? <laughs> Cowards! <laughs> What's the verdict I've had so far? Right, let's find out what they hit. Don't just like mill. Right, okay, they hit Spark Double. So they make, make a second copy of Garuda. And go oh. again. Oh, it's like standard. What? <laughs> they hit Phantasmal Image, which allows the copy of the Spark Double version of Garuda and go again. So hitting Spark Double first is easily the best thing they could have done. Oh, I thought it copied the uh, the the stick around nature of it. It doesn't. Interesting. I thought it did. Huh. Another one. And I've played this in an arena. Hmm. Oh, did they pick the wrong one? Is that what happened? Chat. Sure. Mm. It does. They chose the wrong one. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. Hello, Goblin Lackey One. This is your fault. You got Rob all excited, and here we are. 80 card fucking uh, gobos. Okay. So we will get to untap, but then, like, they're just going to fucking have so much power in play. We need to be fucking Storm. That's what we need to be. Not, not this creature based deck. Creature based decks aren't going to have any fucking. Chances has got guy rude of nonsense. Jovian stacks, fucking hell. Jim Davis five over with my Lurus Goblins beating Guy Rude deck twice. Should have played that. Oh. Look, I put I put it to poll. I asked Twitter, and Twitter were like, play play the Jovian one. And I'm like, Whoa. You fuckers. You absolute fuckers. It's a very fun commander. I actually generally enjoy playing with it in modern today. Does this deck win by milling you out? It probably can do. It more is going to untap next turn and slam us. Okay. Our top decks include absolutely nothing and absolutely nothing. Cool. Take that, Rest Ranger, you cheating bitch. I'm going to say no. I can't hurt her. I love her too much. Wait, untap! <laughs> right click and see cool we've got a our stronghold there so we can go get a a, a goblo but it's just too fucking slow uh, to yeah. be fair as well another mistake we did there was not actually paying attention to what our opponent was doing 
Uh, I didn't even realize that one got rude until he kept our hand, which is pretty bad. We have rest in police. We have death in silence on the play. We have needles don't name the crow moxes. We have relic and cage two. Does cage even stop it, Jack? Because obviously the the creatures oh, the creatures are coming out of the graveyard, right? We can also yeah. counter the guy Rudo with the red element of blood if they haven't got cavern. Cage stops it, relic does not. I guess, yeah, because the reanimation is only part of the abilities. There's no point in bringing Relic in. Do they have yeah. any other graveyard-based like strategy to their sideboard or anything? Is there any reason to play our Relic chat? Cage stop rip doesn't... Our oh, rip doesn't either, does it? Fuck. So, yeah. God. what? I generally think the way that card is worded is fucking heinous. Mm-hmm. Rip and Leon don't, Relic does. No, Relic doesn't, Cage does. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Chat's going to be like, oh, we don't know what we're doing. We don't, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, what the fuck, you cut all of the two drops. I did lack it, because Mog War Marsh was shit. Why would I play that card? Start sideboarding Wheel of Sun and Moon, I guess. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, let's cut all our shit removal way. then. Bringing mind break trap. Oh, I guess if they're casting multiple artifacts in the first turn. Okay, so not bringing the relic or rip. No one answered me. Everyone was too busy like getting confused about what the actual how Garuda works. Do they have any other graveyard-based plan? Do they have like singular copies on burial white or any other fucking nonsense? What else is shit in our deck? Uh. Oops, that flicker. Okay. Um, Settler also seems... Well, that's 80. Do we just take Settler out and bring Kiki Jiki back in? Yeah, let's go Kiki Jiki. Settler's not going to win us a game, whereas Kiki might. Cut Trash Master? No! They've got, like, 10,000. Ta- yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, come on, Goblin Lackey. I understand curving and everything, right? But Mog, Mog-, Mog- War Marshal? Fuck that card. Play first. I had to find space for Lightning Crafter, too. Vince ruins everything. You would say that, Patters. Because you're a piece of shit. Oh, Dragon Patters, love you, really. Uh, well, you are right, Goblin Lacker. I really wish we had Goblin, we had Goblin Mog War Marshal in this matchup. Can you imagine how much <laughs> how much more likely we would be to win against this? Um, I don't think we can keep this. We have no sideboard cards. Let's mulligan. We have Trash Master very late. Mulligan. Isn't this fun, Legacy? <laughs> mm. I've tried to regret my choice and my enthusiasm. We won the first round, Goblin Lucky. Our DNT opponent went two all in on the lowest line. We looked like we were in a really good spot and they disconnected. So, yes. <laughs> Mulligan, come on to something. Okay, okay, we got it, chat. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, we're going to keep land, lackey. Oh, hang on. Simulgan to three. Keep four of these. Oh, we're going to lackey a CGN commander in and fuck them up. Uh, <laughs> bottom. Do we lackey in a matron or do we lackey in siege gang? Siege gang, 100%. Just kill them as fast as possible. Done. Okay, let's go. Let's go get a plateau. <laughs> You think Sling Gang is actually faster than Siege? I think you might be right because of the free sacks and, like for the final bit, but. Oh, undo. <laughs> Can you imagine if I cast the lackey there, Rob? <laughs> 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 no, Communists! We're playing actual Legacy. We're playing an 80 card companion deck. They're playing an 80 card Garudo combo deck. Uh, welcome to Legacy in 2020. Um, Every piece of power creep just literally blows the format to pieces. But maybe that's the fun of it, right? Maybe these formats can't exist in any way other than like this on like a long enough timeline. Chrome Mox is their first and only spell for this turn. What is the proper name of this deck, Goblin? Like, I didn't see you post a name. I'll just call it Yori and 80 Card Goblins. Buoyant boys. <laughs> Why? But they're not buoyant. It's only Yorian that's buoyant, right? If we draw a Richard and Port, so we can go lacking to Port, that'd be so good. Or Wasteland. Wasteland would be good here too. Wasteland. 
They're all being carried by a flyer. No, Lucky, you got it the wrong way around, my friend. They're carrying the flyer. It's like, <laughs> God, so fuck. Yorian is bad. Yorian's great and like, fun, but it's just not good for the most part. You can't have more. You can have multiple companions in the sideboard sim and pick them at the beginning of each match, but. Okay, we need to draw something to fuck them out up, because if they untap and play a soul land, they get to kill us. Or if I say kill us, make a shit ton of power. Nope. That's not it. Again. Okay, let's attack. Well, when you've got 74 cards in your library, Robert, it does dilute the options of hitting the correct thing. True. Do they have a removal spell here? Oh, they have a resto. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then! <laughs> GG! Thanks, Twitter! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Fucking hell fire. Shouldn't have oh. cut Settler. Shouldn't have cut... What? We didn't cut Settler, did we? Oh, this deck. Right, Rob, chat the chat while I get some water, because I'm fucking... I'm salty. Okay. <laughs> well, that was a nightmare, wasn't it? Hopefully the next game will go better. Oh, yes, yeah, so everybody doing their chat. If I disappear, it's because Virgin Media is being a shit. Uh, as we usually do in uh, these brief segments of silence, uh, won't you uh, ask me anything? Because that is what we do here. In my defense, I won four with this deck. Every match went to game three. Oh, okay. Good to know now once we've committed. That's good. That's good. What are the results so far? So far, we won the first round because the opponent disconnected, and then we lost the other two rounds. I want to play Escape from Tarkov. I don't know what that is. Which companion do you want as a pet? No, uh, the right the fox thing. Impressing the heck out of Zerida. it. Zerida. Zerida? Oh, creature type. Cleric. What's your full name? I'm not telling you that. Do you play modern? If so, what deck? Uh, I play Norin Sisters in modern because. I played modern from like four years ago. Where do you like to crack open cold ones with the boys? I have no boys to open to crack open cold ones with, so don't know. What is the best soda pop? Don't drink soda pop. Don't like soft drinks at all, really. Can you share your credit card details? I can, but I'm not going to. Some P47. Right Thank you. Thank you. Impressing the heck out of me. Daddy PK. Daddy PK. Seriously, the only thing good about this pandemic is that I can catch your streams because I'm not at work. I fucking love it when the bot just pauses mid sentence for no reason. Thanks, it is. thanks, Charles Ezra. For the... <laughs> it just it gives up. Like, it's reading the script and it's like, nah. nah I don't <laughs> how, how was your AMA, Bob? Uh, it was. It was good. Oh, I missed one. Favorite ice cream. Uh, oh, I don't know this. Another one. Mint choc chip. Isn't mint chocolate chip like the most basic bitch of ice cream flavors? Uh, I don't know. I just don't, I, I I'm also biased because I don't like uh, mint very much. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Then? Probably salty caramel. Ooh, nice, good choice. Sort of Catherine's favorite. Oh, for fuck's sake! Look at this fucking hand. <laughs> <sighs> It's okay, we've got the, uh, the escalator. I know all the kinks. We don't have any snowlands, Rob. I know, I know. That was the... Oh. That was the thing. Well. This is better. The lackey. Do I play Animal Crossing? No, I don't. Not the current one, anyway. I did not buy it. I knew I wouldn't commit very much to it. I played the original. And by the original, I mean the GameCube re-release in, in the Western world, not the actual N64 one. Um... The fuck do we even bottom here, Rob? The sling game? Um, munitions expert? No, we need removal. I want something to lack into. Yeah, okay, so it's Warchief then. I guess so. Yeah, that makes sense. Because, yeah, if we keep lacking and don't keep the sling game, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay. Which companion do I want as a pet? Um... Restoration Angel. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Okay, we can recover from that.
My favourite Pokemon is Magikarp or Gyarados, depending on whether I'm feeling edgy or not. Rob, what's your favourite Pokemon? Uh, my favourite Pokemon is um, Ferret, which is the... Oh, yeah, uh, we talked about this. One of the normal types from Gen 2. I can imagine you being a normal type trainer. I mean, I don't mean that as an insult. It might sound like an insult. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's not. So basic. <laughs> no, I just imagine you, you know, like, like you know, you you go down to the pub, you have a pint of Guinness, steak and ale pie, and you walk out the door and you pick the Pokeball off your off your off your belt, and you're like, "Come on, Ferret, let's go take over the world." And then and then it, then it cuts to you in a Pokemon Center with your Ferret being healed up because it had its, the shit kicked out of it by a much more exciting Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. I have very modest life aspirations, so I need very modest Pokemon. Holy fuck, Cabal therapy in this economy? Well, hmm. our hand didn't stand up very well to to that. What day is EDH and chill out this week? I'm unsure. I need to edit it. I'm, it's currently planned to be edited on Wednesday, which means it'll probably release on Thursday or Friday. Um, unsure at the moment. I really haven't decided. I've got Candlelander and EDH and chill out this week. I've got some talking head stuff that I want to do as well. I want a modern video out today. Let's um, tap and draw some gas. Go on. Wait, 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 wait. They Cabal Therapy to Mist. The fuck? They Cabal Therapy themselves? Nope. Oh, they named Siege Gang Commander! <laughs> oh, that's so fucking good! That's so fucking good! <laughs> oh, I'm into it. That was fucking great. That's equity. That's that, that's equity. Oh, fuck. Now, now, now we've got to be careful because they can get us. Oh, that that is added equity. Like the Cabal Therapy equity of playing two different, two different military ranks in your deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was so good that was so good okay so now they're playing around the first munition expert but will they play around the second one absolutely not so uh for everyone who's in chat by the way goblin lucky one who is here can i give them vip can i do that does that work let's try it no that's, that, i don't want to block you my friend um, can we go VIP? I don't even know what VIP does, but I want to give it so you got the tag. There we go. You're a VIP on the channel now. Goblin Lucky One is also a legacy content creator, a streamer, a big fan, as you may have guessed, of goblins. A very important in Goblin Exactly. Exactly. Goblin Lucky plays a lot of this deck. They are missing a land drop, which is fine by me. We do need some luck after the last couple of rounds. I'm going to just fire off a munitions expert for the sake of it. Yeah, makes sense. Get a body on the board, start slapping them with it. Mm -hmm. Let's go and get... I'm going to get a snow covered mountain with this one in case we draw Astrolabe. And then we can get an actual, like, jewel that we might need with that one. Yeah, makes sense. But it's a 1-1 body that we can use to sack to get Prospector. We can kick it. It can make our next missions expert better. It's also got a sweet hat. It does have a very good hat, and it's got sharks in the art. Long before Ikoria, there's people riding sharks in this fucking bad boy. I have no idea what we're going to see by Lucky because, well, there's a Cabal Therapy and a Thought Season. Could be anything. Could be a boat. Right, let's tick up. Cool, ah. cool, 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 cool. Get into the red zone. We're winning at the moment. It might just be Reanimator. That is true. Yeah, it doesn't normally make a valve therapy, does it? Or does it? It's been, oh god, I'm so fucking out of touch. It's unreal. I don't know. But yes, people should definitely check out and follow Goblin Lucky One for his goblin goodness. It could be a boat come from. It comes from Family Guy. You know, it's possibly the most famous Family Guy bit, other than maybe the chicken fights, right? And Quagmire. When the Peter's being offered a box and Lois is like, Peter, I don't... I'm not good at the voices. Peter, I don't... Is this, is this actually Nick Fit? Are we against Nick Fit? No, we're against Phoenix? Is this going to be three Arclight Phoenixes? Anyway, like, we'll give you this boat, Peter, or like, oh, like 10,000 pounds or whatever. Something like that. I can't remember. It's been a while. 
And Lois is like, it's a boat or... Oh, do you want a boat or a box? That's it. And he's yeah. like, I'll take the box. And Lois is like, Peter, what are you doing? He's like, it could be a boat, Lois. She's like, but he's off. It could be anything. That's, it that's could, the joke. could be a boat. Yeah, yeah that, that's the joke. It's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, so it's Argo Phoenix. We're going to crack this just to fucking get some lands out of our deck now. Was I even born when the episode aired? Nope, I'm only 21. Right. Um, I'll get a plateau so we can cast our commander one day. We can actually do munitions to put one of those birds away. So I probably don't fire it off this turn. Hang on to it. You need a Pokeball. I might keep my... Yeah, I keep my Vile on too. So no, because this might be a racing scenario. Because they know about... Oh, okay. Is porting them good here? Well, it's better than... Getting Phoenixed, right? Yeah. Though we're not developing our board state either. Lucky one's slam sling gang. Okay. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. No, Vince, it's got it's it's literally a black card. Let's fuck them up, team! Oh, You know, I was talking about free sack outlets earlier. I don't forget this is also a free sack outlet. Yep. I must, I miss Grumgullying people. That was fun. We should do that again. Grumgully? Yeah, that was great. Charles Snake, our opponent is, uh, like, Grixis, or in this case, Jund Phoenix. Like, what they really want to do is go, like, Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Thorsey's Burning Live, or whatever, then you just get three Phoenixes. I wonder if we'll get to Ringleader even once this fucking stream. Mm, I hope so, but I <laughs> doubt it. Statistically, it's unlikely, right? <laughs> so we just pop that off? Yeah, because next time we can cast our commander. Cabal therapy on the stack. Right. Let's go ahead. Because they can sack the Pyramid's token to hit our hand again, but our hand's empty, so... Fucking surprise! Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Well, they're going to uh, name Sling Siege Gang Commander again. That would be great. <laughs> Sling back gang, Lieutenant. <laughs> so they've cast Pyro and Cabal Therapy, Cabal Therapy again, but this one's three instances of sorcery. Right, yeah, so no Phoenix is this turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yorian's going to be insane post combat, right? Because we can just flick a. So we swing and then sack. To R2 Goblin Tokens, and then we flick a Urian. Well, we don't have to set the Goblin Tokens, because Urian doesn't make a set to flick everything. It's not like, um, what you call it? it, it you get oh. to choose. Okay. Although I've played against two people who have flicked their fucking, like, tokens out <laughs> on Arena. <laughs> you know the you know the Tulsimir or whatever? They were Tulsimir yeah, fighting, yeah. and they played Urian, and flicking out the token. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> Happy with this. That's fine. <laughs> oh, they had Langrat in hand, so we're going to see three Phoenixes here. Will they leave one back on defense, though? That is the question. So they get three Phoenixes. This is nine damage. Hopefully they try and race us. And they don't realize that Sling Gang Lieutenant makes it impossible for them. To... Well, not impossible. but Pretty fucking difficult. What did they even name with the first... Yeah, they named Sling Gang this time. That's poetic. Come on, nine me. Oh, mwah! that's it. That's what we wanted to see. <laughs> oh. Now, as long as they haven't randomly got a counter spell for my bird snake, we're all good. Sweet. I heard you like birds, my friend. <laughs> right, so we tick this up. Because we have more three drops than two drops. Because I fucked the curve right up. Almost. <laughs> Let's go plateau. So we hit them, and then we cast our thing, right? Yep. Yeah. 
Are they dead? One, two, three, four, five. Next, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They're not dead. No, they are dead. They're, wait, no. I just looked at their life chart after we've done damage. Ah. <laughs> Math is hard. So keen. Drinking Cavern of Souls would be far more balanced if you couldn't tap it for mana for the non named creature. That would probably make it pretty good. Okay, they don't even want to play it out. <laughs> They're just like, Tweet. this happens a lot. You cast Jorian and the opponent scoops. You never really get value off Jorian, other than the value of your opponent losing. Yeah. Which is pretty good value, I guess. Pretty good value, yeah. But it hasn't got the visceral drawing cards value that the flickering stuff has. So, Mondra Trap seems bad, because the third spell being cast still gets the Phoenix's back, right? Yep. Rest in peace. Yep. Um... REB is good into the Grixis family. They appear to be Juns. We can't bring that in. We can bring in Cage silence. and Deafening Silence and Relic. What I, I had this problem last time when we played Goblins. I don't know if it's for a video or a stream, but you always bring in the same fucking cards because everyone's on the same bullshit. Like, obviously, if you play against DT and Maverick all day, that wouldn't happen, right? But. Mm. Okay. So, I guess we can trim. We don't have Graveyard Hate in our bodies, so we can trim the two Imperial Recruiters. Yep, a trash so. master, a maybe the lightning craft and the settler. Is there anything else that's worse yeah. than those here? I don't think so. I mean, everything else is helping us do what we want to do. So another one. I don't know if I know, my wife's top hat piece. Once upon a time, back when I was a young, sprightly. Well, I'm 21 now, so just guess how young I was. I used to straighten my hair. And my wife helped me do it once. My then, my now wife, then girlfriend. And she straightened my ear. She just, <laughs> she just clamped down on my ear with some straighteners and just burnt the lobe. And I was like, fucking hell! And that's a, it's a thing we remember. Because it fucking hurt. <laughs> Catherine cut my hair the other weekend. Does it... Do you, do you look like a fucking idiot? I don't. She did a surprisingly good job. Oh, good. I might just shave the sides and back and do the top one. Yeah, that's what I really wanted because the the back was going. Good. My the back and sides of my hair grow way faster than the top of my head, so it just it looks very seventies. Like, <laughs> I need to end this now. <laughs> so this hand has no sideboard hate, but it's reasonable. I think I think it's fine. You can play a a put on each one and then just put the shit out of them. Exactly, we've got a perfectly fair. Are you ready for Dark Ritual uh, Dark Ritual into Thoughtsies, Cabal Therapy Thoughtsies? Because they can, they can Dark Ritual, Cabal Therapy the Phoenix out of their own hand as well and then Thoughts, and then thoughts sees you. Mm -hmm. uh, fat, but, pat, fat, I was about to go with Fat Jama. Interesting. So we can't use Surgicals. Okay. Fat Jama, it's my birthday next week. Next month, I will be 21. You say phones away, Blastoise. It's quite conventional and quite normal for goblins to play uh, port and wasteland. So I was saying earlier, people are like, yeah, how can you like, play eight like, cards in a aggro deck? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, uh, that's the, the basic legacy package for goblins, isn't it? Is, uh, yep. Port, vials, goblins. And like d and because you only play one colour, you can do wastelands and everything. Like a good old, good package going. Oh, spaghetti. Okay, land grant, grab a taker. Plague engineer. Oh, magic, magic, magic. Ancient grudge, my vial. No. Cabal therapy. No. Mm, yes. They're grudging mm. my vial here. And we can flash back the. <laughs> we can flash back the vial. Oh, sorry, we can play a vial and have it flashbacked. Fucking hell. Plague Engineer plus Ancient Grudge is literally dreadful for us. That was that was painful. Okay. Guess I port them off Taker. And they can blind Cabal Therapy. Stay in Maya.
Badlands. Yeah, Badlands. Hall of Tega, and then they were, if they don't hit a land up, they can only cast Cabal Therapy and they have a blind name. Or if they name Sling Gang. See, what you could do here, chat, is uh, Portal of Black. Can we get an age reveal at 100k subs on YouTube? Oh, that would be a good campaign, Stim. <laughs> but the thing is, I've already revealed my age. That's the problem with that thing, because I'm 21. Yeah. It doesn't work, mate. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll put off Black next turn. And they can't do shit, son. And... Or oh, we can play a 3-drop. We put off Black, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And you just play the Crackers. Play the Ether Vile. But they'll blow it they'll up. Port them. Oh, yeah. Don't keep them off green. No, that's not no we'll keep them off black. Uh, we'll play the we'll play the eighth of our after we've cast our singular rest in peace. That's somewhere in our sixty nine card library. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking hell! We want to draw two lands in a row. Here is what we want to do. I guess a mountain would be good because we can at least play expert in the end step. Okay, they have three mana, but they still can't cast them out there. We play engineer buried alive. Sweet. <laughs> Lackey. Okay. Oh, Lackey might get us there. If we keep him <laughs> off black for the rest of the game. Lackey just unlocks the whole hand. Right. One time no black mana source, please. Upkeep. Fuck you, Plague Engineer. Fuck <laughs> off. Get out of here. Oh, we can even get Goblin Settler and blow up the Taker and then we can play our Vile. That works too. We can go. We can put Major into play. Get a set. Oh, you bastard! Well, do you know what? I'm going to swing into that. They block and it dies. Yeah. If he, okay, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm There's kidding. no other line here, right? No. Oh, you are talking. It's my headphones. Sorry, Rob. That's okay. Talk for me. Talking for you. Cool. Thank you. That's that. All good. Good. Uh, yeah, I mean, the extra vial is handy. We can just play one now. Yep. Let's go combat attack. Expert to kill PZ. People need to look at the lands we haven't played before it's making us just a sneaky feet, Pete. Yep. Okay. That's the young PZ off the board. Be we can go. Upkeep. Hawk off black. Woof, oh, come on. Hello. No swamp, please. Lop a vial. Sure. Untap. Draw a land? Go on, draw land. Land, land, land. Okay. Play vile. <laughs> <laughs> these, are the, these are the games of magic that I live for, Rob. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's pull the fucking swamp again. I'm doing nothing. You're doing nothing. No one's doing anything. It's fine. It's grindy, but we're not grinding with, like, $70, like, standard mythic cards. We're grinding with fucking shitty old lands. Denying mana cost color, uh, colors and stuff. I really want to make them for a settler and block their black source. That's going to be so good when their hand is just full of black cards and like a four drop. Okay. <laughs> Say yes. Ooh, we can valve that. We can valve that in. Okay. We can valve. One that. more time. Can we fade? <laughs> <laughs> they probably only play like five mana producing lands in their deck. You know what my legacy's like? Yeah, that's true. A uh, Rebel Master actually sees more playing the prison decks, Aeolus, than, than the actual Goblin Mists. Oh, no! Incoming Plague Engineer. Fuck. Also, Dang. the problem with Plague Engineer is that our Munitions Expert can't kill it because it'll come in and just immediately fucking die. Well, we can play the uh, Chain Whirler eventually. And, yeah, then... and, then, and then fucking what? 
It's a two two munitions expert. Cabal therapy. Hmm. Let's give him a let's give him a choice here. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an easy choice. They cast buried alive, and you'll get two more phoenixes. Oh, they target themselves. Ah. Ah. Interesting. That's a horse of a different colour. Then they can get some more phoenixes. Hit us for twelve. Sack a phoenix to what to, to cabal therapy. Or do they just plague engineer here and make two birds? I feel like the right line is to plague engineer, right? Safer. Yeah, because like now that they're on two swamps, we're not incentivized to port anymore, so we can just start unloading our hand. Hmm. So it's four phoenixes. Miss cool. a two turn clock. Hmm. Oh, we can kill one with munitions expert. Yep. If we had a Vile on a higher level, we can like, go like Chain Waller into like Make a Matron for Gabon Lackey, go get Kiki, copy your Chain Waller, something really cool, but. Okay! What do we untap and draw? A land would be pretty good, honestly. Because we might be able to survive. Okay. There's land. Port. Okay. So, really tight on colours, though. So we have we have Magician's Expert off of our Aether Vile, we have Matron off of our Lackey. But we can't cast Kiki. What else do we have here? We can cast Sling Gang. Sling Gang obviously allows us to shoot their face a load. The problem is they're playing an engine can, next turn on math our board. We can swing with Lackey. Yep. Put Chainwell into play. Yep. And then... I think we might have to ringlead... Mm. We could also matron for a kiki here. And then we can make the kiki off the lackey. Kiki our matron or our munition expert to kill two birds at six damage in the air. They'll play a they'll play a munition expert, which will kill they'll play an engineer which will kill munition expert, munitions expert, and matron. Then we can play chain whirler, copy it with Kiki and raft their board, and we'll be on one. That's our line, I think. I think that's our only line. And that's and a good line. It's I elaborate, like that line. right? <laughs> it's a lot okay. of hoops. Let's, Let's go. How, hang on, how am I getting Kiki into play? Oh, I'm getting Kiki to play off the lackey, right? Yes, so he's for Kiki. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's in the deck. Cool. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking Christ. So, Matron. <laughs> Okay. Say yes. Grab Kiki. I just feel like I'm going to fuck this up somehow, right? Go to hey, combat. Now swing. Hit them for one. Say yes. Jiki. Then we go. Second main. Munitions expert. Do you wait until their turn? I don't think we do. The last card is Plague Engine. We know it. Yeah, so they'll just wipe out all our things. It... Let's make a munitions expert. Say so yes. If they can cast like multiple spells next turn, then I guess we die. Yeah. Kill this one. Copy this one. Kill this one. Oh, if this works, I'm going to be very happy. Okay. We can right. even <laughs> we can even save our Kiki with Kraken. It's not that it does anything. Kiki needs to be in play next time we untap. We need to take Vile up the three. 
Yeah. Oh, 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 we lose if they're smart enough to sack an arc like Phoenix to a Cabal Therapy, which they should have done last turn. Because they can name Chain Warlord. Oh, they haven't seen our hand. No, you're doing They right haven't now. seen our hand. Impressing the heck out of me. Cap Jesus approves. Thank you, Crimson Wings 36. Okay, they're going to hit us for six here. They have yep. one Cabal Therapy in the bin. If they see the line that Chain Warlord ruins them, then they can do that. They did not see it. Yeah. Okay, tick up vile. Don't fuck the subjects. Chat, are we ready? <laughs> are we ready? Okay, well. Uh... So, pew pew. And then we're going to make a copy of Chain Whirler. Pew pew. Pew. I don't have a pew sound effect. I'm sorry, chat. <laughs> Move to combat. Oh, hang on. Play a ringleader first. No, hang on. Play a singling gang commander. Yeah, we need to pad our health a little bit. And we oh. the copy. After it swung for three. Fucking hell, that was good, Rob. <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm actually just waiting to try and manoeuvre through and not fuck this up. That's why I'm not dabbing or playing music right now, chat. I will do some dabbing or playing music once we're through. If the last card in their hand is like Lava Dart, because that's not a terrible card without anything, I'll be so sad. Sling Gang resolves. Yep. Move to combat attack them for three. Yep. Take them to 12. And then sack the sack a goblin. Target them. Sack, oh, hang on. Cancel. We haven't done first drop damage yet, have we? Or have we? I've got no sound effects on, so I don't even Just know. wait till just wait till main phase, mate. I wouldn't stress. Yeah, we had done it. I just it was an idiot and had the sounds off. Sack the goblin. Okay. We're now on two. We're still dead to Lava Dart. We're dead to them hard cast in Phoenix. On the upside, four of them are in their graveyard. Okay, they have two cards in hand and they have a Cabal Therapy. So if they go, like, Pyromancer... Faithless Looting? Oh! Fucking yes! yes. Oh! That was good. I that crashed the stream with my enthusiastic button pressing. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were dead to the guy. Sorry, chat. The stream is frozen. I'm aware it has. It's catching up. There we go! Woo! Goblin Lucky, did you see that though? I want you to be impressed because you play this cool shit. This is why Goblins is cool. So whoever was, I hope they're still here. Is like, oh, you playing an eighty card um, uh, aggro deck? I'm like, that was not an aggro finish, was it? That was a <laughs> tour box control nonsense. That was great. Oh, uh, uh, they caught the very end. So awesome. we got hit by four phoenixes, and we knew they had an uh, engineer in hand, and we had to figure out a maneuver. And what we did is we had to go uh, make sure for Kiki, hit them with Lackey, put a Kiki in, copy the munitions expert that we viled in to kill two Phoenixes to take six to go to one, knowing full well that we can untap and play Chain Waller and copy our Chain Waller. The only downside was they had Cabal Therapy in their hand, so they played perfectly with like perfect information. They could do it. Or if they made the meta call of like what can fuck me up here, Chain Waller. I guess they could have also got fucked up by Lightning Crafter, maybe? That could have killed yeah. two, but no, that would only kill two birds. No, it yeah. would have killed. And also, the... nobody plays around lightning crafter. I guess like... so. I guess so. <laughs> okay, we're two two with eighty card goblin. One of our points disconnected because Virgin Media is shit. Maybe they need a bailout. Get it? Topical humor. Way topical humor. Way. Well, that's one of my thoughts. One of my thoughts. I genuinely thought that they've maybe they've like. What, just gone, gone under? To be like, hey, we can turn this off at any time, guys. If you just want to bail out our, our airplanes, just, no, you know. fuck, yeah. And this is what this is. I believe, I believe, access to the internet at high speed should be a fucking right. But I believe a lot of things should be a right. <laughs> America won't believe me. They'll be like, what about the marketplace of ideas, Vince? Why can't they keep charging people astronomical money for insulin, Vince? And I'm like, because that's fucking know. wrong, America. <laughs> oh. That's what you all come here for, right? Is rants from a raging lefty loony socialist. Are we not 1.5 to 2.5? What? Shut up. We got this. Fetchland should be a right! 
No. <laughs> Not quite. Vexed Land should be affordable. That's what they should be. Oh my I'm God, I'm affordable. so fucking insulted from the going from sec- like uh, secret lair fetch land bullshit lol edition to here's our five Godzilla lands that we can actually print at like thirty or forty dollars or whatever. Like it just shows. It's like no, the fetch lands are astronomically inflated. Fuck you. It's a video that I'm gonna do this week. Where I'm just gonna say secret lands are bullshit. I'm gonna talk especially like transparently. Like I was paid to preview the first one that I did. I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna talk about how I bought two synths because I thought the Women's Day one was fucking awesome. I thought the Thali one was fucking awesome. I'm gonna talk about how the Stargazer ones are bollocks because that's just taking masterpieces away from the players. And I'm gonna talk about how the fucking Fetchland one is literally. I I will say this. I'm gonna say this in the video. I've said this on Twitter already. I think it's the biggest insult Wizards like have ever done to their paying fucking audience. It is literally a fucking joke and. Fucking, fucking fetch lands, guys. That's the horn of disappointment. That's not like an excited horn. Hang on, I'll try and do a disappointed sounding one more, buddy. How did that sound? That was pretty good, actually. Thanks. I'm getting better. Getting better. <laughs> with my periodic tooting. My uh, Bruce has just got the stairs. He's walking the corner and his head is tilted. And he's like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's do this. New game. GameCube sounds. We're on the die roll. We're gonna go first. Jory and I choose you. Where's my fucking po yeah Pokemon battle? Pokemon open. Let's go. They haven't got a companion because they like to play Magic on hard mode. We've got a red source, but it can't play the Astrolabe. What do you reckon? Keep. Keep. We can't play lackey. two of the cards in our hand. Boy, ride this lackey all the way home. Oh Rob, there's so much on the there's so much on the fucking line right now, Rob. If we go three two with this pile of shit, I'll be unstoppable. Do you really want to mulligan into a six that you know we're not going to be able to keep either? No, uh, basically you never mulligan because your next hand could just be as bad, right? That's how, that's how well, magic I mean, works. If this is a six, what's a six going to look like? This isn't a six; it's a seven. Yeah, but it's effectively a six because we can't cast on the card. Nah. See, my favourite kind of sixes are effectively sixes. Actually, there's there's a very... If we're going to do it very seriously, Rob, if we're playing like a... If I was trying to qualify for something right now, this is way worse than a six. Because we can't cast <laughs> two of our cards, so it's just a five. Okay? <laughs> I mean, at, oh, fuck, Zarsus has got a point, though. It's actually an an eight with two with three unplayable cards. So it's still a five. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, I want them... Because even now, Rob, if we hit them with this and put this into play, that and then get value off it, that means they've played a creature, which means they'll probably just be blocking anyway. True. But we could draw Siege Gang Commander. Oh, no. Is this the blue, the sweet Turbo Turns deck thing? <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because you know what? Fuck you, Inventor's Fair. We can also blow up the Mox Opal if we're really feeling spicy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck them up. Fuck them oh, yeah. up. I think we should. You think we should? 100%. Well, we can blow up in response to them to cast in their third artifact, for example. True. So, just put the Crate Maker in play. Here we are. And then keep that one mana up. Another and, one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Also, Vora Stronghold can get back our lackey if they ever do kill it. Our, our or hand's unbeatable. Back, or I can get back our crater maker and we can blow something else up. That was single handedly the worst one on our deck, FYI. Because any other goblin mob was great. <laughs> any other land was great. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, are we blowing up the opal now? Because they've played a second artifact and we're going to try and. We might want to cast this next turn. So, yeah? Uh, yeah. We could blow up Tree of Tales. No, it's target colorless non land permanent. If Crater Maker could destroy Dark Deaths, it would be fucking absurd. Well, it's just that Tree of Tales is an artifact, that's why. Oh! Woo! We can almost... Well, okay, this is also a pretty bad land here, because we can't even activate Volvo Stronghold with it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play this on Goblin. No, I'm going to play this on... No, we have to play on... Oh, fuck. I can't even play on Bird, Rob. Because if you want to play this, we need it on Goblin. This on hand... Goblin. This hand couldn't be worse. <laughs> I generally don't think this hand could be worse. I guess a third astrolabe would be pretty bad. Let's go in and get them. 
They're like, oh no, what's going to be? I'd love if they killed Lackey here with the dismember. Vince would you, if given the opportunity, slap Another the one. shit out of a political twat? Do you mean like a twat who does politics? Like Boris Johnson? Well, I'm a bit of a twat, but I'm, they sometimes shout about how I hate the Tories. I don't really understand the question. Another and honestly, I'm also not a violent person either. So. Uh, we're two out of three companion opponents, aren't we? Yes. And that, and that, no, two out of five, sorry. Two versus three. And as they say in the Old West, two out of five ain't bad. That was literally the same they said, wasn't it? The Frontiersman. Yeah. When, bir when birthing horses and only two out of five of them survived, they'd say, two out of five ain't bad. Am I making that up, Rob? You don't even know. I, I think you are. Oh. <laughs> well, your intuition's very good, Rob. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you that. Chat, did you, Rob, stay quiet for this. I don't know if anyone was around for it last time because I, I never know who's hanging out. Chat, did you know that dogs can smell north? Did anyone in chat know that? Chat, tell me now. Did any of you know that dogs can smell north? Ancient tomb. Nice. Wait, is this the birthing pod deck I played that time? Damn it with this again. Hey, Ellis, don't be like that, right? The man's got to eat. What were you talking? No, you don't. Know okay. That. Oh, wait, sure. I just wanted to shove my headphones and cut out, you know? <laughs> Come on, we want to draw... Oh, we haven't got Crank in our deck. We want to draw Kiki Jiki. We always want to draw Kiki Jiki. There's, also, never, a, there's uh, never a time where Kiki Jiki is not the correct thing to draw. I mean, a black supposed to be going, that's not terrible. Ooh, that's pretty good. No, we can cast that now. Right, we're going to hit him and just put in the pair of Goblin Lackey and make it look like we've got flash threats. Slap of the face. Make the ba base. This is not a base, but whatever. So if that was Chieftain, you'd want to play it first. Yes. But Chieftain's for noobs and modern. Okay. No, Pat Jammer, because I'm not a violent person. Like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't want to fight anyone or hurt anyone physically. And that's not my aim. So the answer to your question is no. Vince to Rob, shut up, Vince, two seconds later, are oh, you my headphones working? Why are you talking? <laughs> hey, Ellis, you're completely right. Uh, there, there was... <laughs> Something wrong with me. Oh! Yes! Yes! Excellent. We kept the worst hand ever and it worked! Just, that goes to show, Rob. That just proves, right? The power of goblins. You should never mulligan. Because you're fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Mulligans are for scrubs. Oh, God. Right. Right, 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 right. I think they're birthing pods. So, there's some it sort of thing. Like I'm going to bring in one graph figures cage and maybe two needles. Now, needles bad against mana rocks, but it's good against pod and it's good against the second part of Inventor's Fair. Mm -hmm. There's also an argument towards perhaps deafening science if they're fast, but probably not. Probably not, no, because the. The worst that's going to be is a Mox Opal into something. Maybe they're just Affinity. Look, Ape! You're never just Affinity, all right? You've got to be Affinity Pod. Pod is not a thing. Goblin Lackey! I made a video on that deck, and it was fucking sick. I, went, I think I went 3-2, and I killed someone with two Doomwake Giants in play. It was... <laughs> it was so good! It was so good. If they're Affinity, though, Pyrokinesis does seem good, Lackey. You're right. Okay, we're bringing those in. We're, we're hedging both ways. We're hedging both ways. Okay. Yeah, we've got Actually, 80 cards in our deck. It's they are like, more likely... To wiggle. They are more likely to be Affinity, to be fair. And that makes Cage bad. Legacy Birthing Pod Affinity. Sluggish. Yeah, you've seen it. Okay. Cause that, I might go back and play that deck again, but with a companion. Yorion! Oh! Rob, I've got it! Yorion Legacy Birthing Pod Affinity with Brea. I'm just flicking a Brea, Rob. Oh, oh. Oh, then you can you can flick your pod, but then you can't activate it. So that seems pretty good. Right, cut the cage. Oh, come on! Oh, we already have. Okay, I'll let you off. <laughs> I'll let you off if I'm agreeing with you. Okay, lightning craft. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep every removal spell we can. 
Set that might be shit then. We've got 60 seconds to cut some stuff. Uh, Mog War Marshal can go because the card's terrible. Yeah, I'm saying that to mainly tilt out uh, Goblin and Lackey, but also because I don't think it's good here. Silence does nothing. Does it not? They can't cast Opals and multiple things. Okay, sure. Fuck it. Uh, we'll bring in Nida for the Walking Blisters and the Ravagers. I really hope they're both in Pod Not Affinity. Even if it means we lose a match. I just, I want it so bad, Rob. Warchief can go out. <laughs> One prospect can go out. Let's go. Literally, everyone who plays goblins. Not everyone, Lackey, because I play goblins. Goblins actually have like the third deck I bought on Modo. Um, like a next. Do you remember me sending you a screenshot of all those goblins I'd bought? Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. I was like, cool. I've bought everything I need for goblins. There's like fucking every possible goblin card from like fucking <laughs> Sledders to, to to Krenkos. Sacred money won't make money is tilted. Yeah, that's it. Get, get on my fucking salt level. Right, let's go. Yamori. Let's go. One more time. Cool, mages, we played Battle of Wits this week and it was shit. Because Modo can't cope. I'm going to keep this. It's okay. Yeah, I think we'll yeah. keep this. It's a shame that we got to... As a weird tension, do we like cycle this to find a red card for this? Or do we just pitch this to this? Do you see? I guess it depends on what they do. If we're under, like, huge amounts of pressure, then we just fucking go for it. If they splurge out their hand, we just boop it all away. I'm not sure the stream's moving me enough. Ape, shut up. Bazinga. Right. I feel, Rob, you only get half the experience because you can't hear it when I press the bazinga button. I know, but I, I do watch the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to keep this. Our opponent has kept a seven as well. Yes. Mm. Interesting. Surely Affinity or Steel Stompy would be fucking sick of Loris, right? Oh, they're playing Frog Mites. They can't. I'm just going to say no. I haven't turned one wasteland in someone in a while. Because it's just not really been a thing you can do in Legacy. <laughs> and that just felt good. That just felt yeah. good. Moose work. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? Moose work. Guess what? Say guess what in chat. Say what in chat. Moose work. Say what? Guess what? Say what? Say what? Moose work. Say what? Even Bob was getting excited. Say what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> oh god, the, the, the delay is making this excruciating, Rob. Bazinga! Ah, I got him. I said Bazinga, Rob. Woo! Oh, Bazinga. Right. I don't know, babe. I'm shouting, <laughs> I'm shouting a lot. I'm bazingering the chat. And then Bob was losing his fucking mind. It's red because we're playing red goblins. Steph's like, why is it red in here? It's <laughs> red alert, Steph. Red alert. <laughs> right. Okay. I'll return two Wastelanding. If we draw a third land, I might do. No, I probably shouldn't. Am I might do a drop stage. <laughs> Sorry. Am, <laughs> am I gonna... Hmm. 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 Okay, okay, I'm not gonna waste them. I wanna get something on the board. Okay. Red light streaming. Exactly! I look like I'm in a fucking bothel in Amsterdam. Nice. Wasteland again. No, no, no. Oh, I think that Mox Rebel's gonna do something and then. Just, oh, oh, oh! Is that. Is that so? <laughs> okay, cool. Um. Some people would claim that Wasteland, like, creates non-games. And that's it. bullshit, all right? Yes, this is a game of magic. So just do it. I'm just reducing their resources to zero. Nothing that's all I'm doing. <laughs> no, what are this is for? magic. This is magic do in it. its purest form. Just exactly. And in Legacy, it. people cast yes, spells without lands all the time. Like, exactly. Oh, oh yes. boy! Positive win rate, Goblin Lucky. Positive win rates. Smoke weed every day. Oh, I'm so fucking good at this game, Bob. Honestly, I'm just fucking. Woo! We beat a buy as well. We beat a buy. Oh, what? Are we, are we meant to lose to Affinity? So was it Pod? K W W W W W W. First of all, your name is what? Why? Secondly, 
We'll never know. We will literally never know. <laughs> no, the very one disconnect. We were in a demanding position. Yeah. How does your wife stand it? Ah, uh, she doesn't. She hates me. Um, no, no, I'm kidding. She, uh, I, I've always been a bit like this. I guess, you know, people talk about mediated personas. Rob, you can put a test to this, right? I guess I can be calm, but there's such a thing as mediated personas. But I guess I am kind of like this. Like a couple of you stole that game. I stole it and I smed it with an excrement. And... So when did we cast the companion? Oh, we cast it on our opponent insta-scooped in round three, I want to say. I like round three. Do we play some Lurus Goblins then? Now we've just we've shown that we're obviously the, the, the de facto premier number one goblin parts in the format. I mean, we just smashed this uh, to, um, league, so that's, yeah, let's do it. Throw let's, it let's open a, let's open a chest, Lurus. though. Got the Lurus. Oh, yeah, open the chest. Uh, we opened just last Monday, I think. Okay, chat. Yeah. Okay. I want... All right, chat, everyone. Guesses. What is in the chest? Lucky, uh, DM me on Twitter uh, a list. Let's have a look. I trust you. Come on. Everyone gets one guess. If you get it right, I will press the Bazinga button. Okay? A beating heart. Magic cards. Padders. Padders. Fuck off. I'm going to say uh, a whole set. A whole set. Oh, that would be hot. I've never opened a whole set. Tundra. The phototype. What was nothing? Plow under. God, did we ever plow under last week? I, we did a couple of weeks ago. I'm sure we did. Fucking plow under. Black Lotus, 20 play points. Mirror and Crusader. But 20 play points is a very safe bet. Still kind of in the vein of Pat as his magic cards thing. Some trash from the newest commander set. No, the newest commander set's not available on Modo yet. I would, I would fucking, I would love some new commander cards. Badlands, Curse Catcher. I guess that the chest contains the friends we made along the way. Five tickets. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the chest opening music. Ready? Oh, you guys can't see. I should really go to the main screen. And our survey says... Ooh! Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome! Oh, hang on! Hello! That's some ticks, too. That was a sick chest. That was a really good chest. How many, how many ticks are these? Can we do an E price in the chat? E price... Nurturing peatland. Oh, 6.49 tickets. That's almost a full draft. Not bad. Not bad. Also, the Cogler avatar is sick. If I didn't have my elephant, I'd, I'd, I'd be playing that. Right, let's have a look at my DMs on Twitter. Chat, we're going to take a quick break while I just grab the next deck. And get some water. Uh, Rob, do you want a break or do you want to talk to chat? What would you like to do? Take a break because I feel like doing right now? Break. Yeah, of course. Cool. So we're going to grab some water and then sort of bitch let, let me gift sub. Good job on the 3 2. It's not letting you gift sub. I'm sorry, Moose Work. I'm sorry. Blame Twitch. Blame fucking Jeff Bezos and his fucking warehouses full of piss. Right. We'll be back in like two minutes to so grab a deck of mana traders and get some water. B R B.
Sound! Hello everybody, we've lost some viewers, but we're back. We're back. But he is going to be a changed man. Look, if you want me to come back, what you've got to do is throw your Bezo bucks at me. Click the button above my head, Twitch Prime. It's basically free. Okay. Let me get these cards rented. I think I want to make one change to Lackey's list, which is add a seal of fire over one of the bolts. Just feels good, you know? 
I also kind of want... No, it's not the right one. Never mind. Let's rent those cards. Okay. Let's get those cards coming. So, chat. Vince, why is there an option to follow your Twitch channel? Pat Jamma, there should be a button above, like, up here somewhere to follow. Uh, Lewis d &T, That was... Hey. Okay. Oh! We went to kill one of their things and then wasteland them. Uh, hopefully provoking them to go to quarters as well as they end up with no land at the end of the fight. And they disked. <laughs> that was it. Here are some bits, Milky Lad. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Right. Is our boy Goblin Lucky still around? Has he disappeared for now? Another one. Got some cards coming in from Mana Traders. So, we're playing Lurus of the Dream Daddy Dating Simulator. I don't think Rob's back yet. If he is back, I can't hear him. I'm back. I just came back. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Good. You can hear me. Oh. So, the Lurus variant. We are indeed playing the Lewis variant. I think some of the people that are watching on the, on the Discord, by the way, are also in the chat now. I saw Naki pop in and stuff earlier. Mm -hmm. So, let's grab these cards here. Well, yeah, Yori in itself is kind of like a grindy card. Um, Lewis allows us to... It, Lewis is also grindy. But allows yeah, us to have these weird explosive starts. Do you ever play Grenzo this deck, Rob? Ooh. Red, red, Grenzo. Yes. I guess nice. technically we could play red, black, Grenzo as well if we wanted to. Um, That's extremely cool. So I presume you play him for uh, card advantage. Another one. So let's read him because I need to make sure I familiarize with what he does before we start playing. Can I zoom, Modo? Oh, no. Modo is fucking about... Rather than sub, I'll stand outside my front Another door and one. clap for you rather than support you financially. <laughs> <laughs> Nakibisa, that is fucking brutal. <laughs> Instead of like fighting for Brutality. your your increased pay and like everyone's access to Medicare, I'm just gonna vote in a bunch of cunts and then yeah, clap once a week to make myself look feel good. Every Tory cunt that claps on a Thursday night in the UK is still a Tory cunt. Right. Grenzo. Oh, come on, Modo. Babe, someone in my chat, Nakamason, just said, rather than sub, I'll stand outside my front door and clap for you rather than support you financially. Ooh, come on, Modo, you piece of fucking shit. Right, we've got Call of Death, we're looking at a courier card. This is fun, this is fun. Then we've got Grenzo Havoc Razor. So, it's 2-2. Two -two. Whenever a creature you control does combat damage to a player, choose one. Go to target creature that player controls. Or exile the top card of that player's library. Until end of turn, you may cast that card into a man of any colour as if uh, to do so. So it's card advantage. Did Alexa just turn on? Alexa, shut up! Fucking Alexa. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Come here then, boy. I got you. I got you. Come say hello to chat, boy. Have you had a shit recently? I don't know. Has he ate his own shit recently? Maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. Are you a stinky little pup? Don't you lick my face? I think you've been chewing on poopers, haven't you? Oh, puppy. He looks a bit sad in this light. Look how cute this dog is, though. Puppy. Puppy, I love you. You're my puppy. Are you my puppy? We will get a when we get partner chat. We will get a Bovril and we'll get a Bruce emo. I promise. <laughs> My wife's doing the can you Bovril? Can you smell north? Bovril, point towards north. Point towards north, Bovril. 
With your nose, Bob. Point towards north. Is that it, Bob? It's north up there. Eh? His eyes say, save me from the man. He battles, bathes me in milk every night. I don't bathe him in milk. I bathe him in lovely soapy suds. Hmm? Let's do a zoom in so the chat can see him a bit more before we put him down. Chat, look at him. Look at him, chat. He's literally the cutest fucking dog. Oh, Is mummy trying to get your attention? <laughs> he's giving you the whites, isn't he? He's like, <laughs> he's like, what, what are you fucking he's doing to me? Thumb. Hmm? He's looking at my thumb. Just so that's got a bandaged thumb where she trapped the door, thumb in the door on the weekend. Rob, do you know about this? She told me that you trapped it in the door. Yeah, yeah, we we're fucking about. And the door closed. And it popped the top of her thumb, and it's all blooded everywhere and Ooh. all over the walls. And I had to go into A and E yesterday to get it checked. That was fun. Yeah. Wow, danger zone. Yeah, exactly. So we got there and they asked her questions and then they took her temperature and then they told me I couldn't go in with her, obviously. And I was like, mm. oh, cool. Well, I'll just go sit in the car then. So I started making memes on my phone. Anyway, <laughs> let's play some fucking Lewis. Bovel would do. beat the Queen's dog in a fight. Yeah, the Queen's dog's. Well, actually, Bovel's a bit of a, a worse. But the Queen's dog's are shit and the Queen is shit. Right, so this goes and it plays their cards, and this brings back two cards in the bin. Cool. Do you realize we don't really have sack out there in our deck? Goblin pro uh, Prospector? Oh, yeah, we have, oh, we have four Prospectors, and we have one Ch Churin in the sideboard. Also, I was going to make one change to Lackey's list. By the way, everyone, just to let you all know, if you enjoy this Goblin content, Lackey is streaming this deck again at 6 p.m. EST. I don't know how many hours from now that is. Does anyone in chat know? Uh, two hours. Cool, so after this, we might, be, we might be able to throw it to him. Um, seal of Fire. There Ooh. we go. There we go. That's a, that's a tar fire and a half, that is, isn't it? I kind of want to play a second one over the bolt. Don't. What, what do you mean, don't? It's, it's great with Lois. Yeah, but the difference between two and three is like a hundred million miles. This kills Delva, kills Thalia, that's all you want. Does it kill the green elf thing that Lance plays? Uh, Lance doesn't play it, and it does if it's not powered up. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Oath of Ghouls, what does this fucking do? Because I know he's talking about this being good. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player chooses target player whose graveyard has fewer creature cards in it than their own than their graveyard does, and is their opponent. The first player may return a creature card from their graveyard to their hand. Cool. Yes, so your graveyard is bigger than their graveyard. You get to get a thing back. Fuck. Yeah, Arcanist is the big one I was thinking of, Squared Money. You're right. Um, we're not playing Vile. Seems weird. Let's give it a go. Right. Legacy, Lurus, Goblins. Here we go. Modo is... Yeah, there we go. Cool. So, Oath of Ghouls is the black version of Oath of Druids. Not quite as powerful, but you know. Yeah. Whilst Bolt is three damage, Seal of Fire with two mana rub is four damage. Just saying. It's like it's got kicker. Uh, I, I guess. Can't argue with that. I am a bit tired of choosing companions at the beginning of each fucking match. Right. Our opponent doesn't even have a companion, so we've basically won. Keep. Can't even. Yeah. Can't, I say, we guess I can't even lift that cannon. We guess I <laughs> can't even lift that companion. Oh! I didn't mind the thought of that. Okay, we're just going to slam Lackey. It doesn't seem that good here. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, Lackey into Lackey into. Okay, Nothing. here's the Lackey question. Lackey seems bad in this deck. Yeah, like, it's Lackey... Lackey's Lackey is vile in this deck. It's Lackey just shit in this deck. It's just vile. It's just a free goblin. Uh, yeah, goblin. but you got to connect with it. And also, you're never getting like four or five or six mana out of it, are you? In True. One go. Is there a better goblin? Then? One drop? I don't know. We're playing Mog Fanatic already. Could be Goblin Guide. I guess. Like, how super aggro are we? Like, don't think yeah, we're goblin that guy, super aggro -y. Yeah, Goblin Guy seems bad. Uh, the Forgotten One, we went 3 2. So, fuck yeah. off. <laughs> we were tired of that positive image, we, the positive win rate we got. Okay, so we can go. 
can go lowest to petal here, but it doesn't seem so great. We can hit him with Lackey to get back at, to play another Lackey, which we will do. We can also just like Frex and Evoker their Astrolabe here as well, just as a thing to do. I think we just do that. Like, because if they've lent on it, then it's going to slam right down. And then we can just draw cards off our lands, can't we? Goblin Champion, what does that do? Card, Goblin Champion. Yeah. I kind of want to try playing cat oven combo of some description. Oh, I'm like haste exalted. <laughs> I guess, yeah, or at least Lucky's netting us like some mana here, right? Ah, uh, we've already done Yorian Goblins, Olaf. We were 3 2. I should really tweet out this deck this after this game. I will do. And tag Lucky himself as well. Yeah, Goblin, yeah, Warren's kit is not as good for obvious reasons. Costs too much, too delicate. Lackey is often outclassed, to be honest, but you can get it down turn one. Turn two is a whole different... Okay. Misty Reinforce. So I'm assuming we're going to have, uh, uh, what do you call it, a snaky thing in our future. I think I'll just slam him with all of these, and the snake block one we can play it again with Lurus. They just take four here. Uh, say no to the first one. And do I crack this canyon this time to see if we can find one? Yeah, why not? I should have done it the first time around. Okay. Put Scope Prospector into play. Then go Sunbait Canyon, Lotus Pedal. Play Lurus. We could play Lurus. And then to slowly like use our petals as land drops essentially for the next few turns. Yeah. I guess if they had a, a removal spell, they might... Well, they'll be holding it for the rest, probably. Maybe this gets forced. Because they've got... They've, the fool they know, they might have no better targets. Wow, okay. Wow, hey. Maybe that did fuck the manner up, and they want to, like, not let us know what they're exactly playing. Pretty good. Another one. The basic island kind of suggests that Red Elemental Blast might be quite good. I think um, so. And we can grind them with Oath of Ghouls too. That seems good. I think that, that, that'll, be, that'll do for this one. And yeah. then if we go to game three, we'll do some other things. We've still got some more got, Well, yeah, we've got Fatal Push and stuff. Sure, it might still be good. Yep. Knuckle Bone Witch. <laughs> this version isn't even playing any ports. Another one. Forcing a companion when you don't have a companion must feel like the worst feeling. Yep. It's part of why we need to get rid of the fucking things, honestly. Like, I'm enjoying playing <laughs> with them, but when you put it that way, it just makes me think, what the fuck? I will cut one marshal. One copter. One maker and the seal of fire. Uh, Dull and Boring Username, welcome for showing up uh, like two and a quarter hours into the stream. If you want to see 80 cards, 80 card goblins, the stream will be up on Another Wednesday. One. We've already played it. We went 3 2 and we've gone to a different deck now. Legion Loyalist doesn't seem too bad, actually. Yeah, I agree. Could have sworn you were following me. Well, if you don't follow me, get, get go on. Get out, Pab Pablo Cold, if you fuck. Well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. Don't forget. You bunch of sluts. We've already got a goblin arse. Sorry, I just jump in from thing to thing like I always do. Uh, Gallon, we've already got a goblin arse in Mog Fanatic. Um, yeah, so if you're a fan of this channel, of the YouTubes, of the Twitches, or one or the other, make sure you're following on both for a start. Also, if you have Twitch Prime, you can give 
Thanks, Pablo Blob. Pa 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 what? Pablo Cole, whatever your fucking name is. You sound like a drug you'd use to cure piles. Uh, you can show some love by clicking the button up ahead and give us a Twitch Prime. Uh, also, you can check out the Patreon links in that description below. Make sure you're subbed over on YouTube as well, which is free to do to support the channel. And you'll also see videos like the ones coming out later tonight. Okay. Sure, let's go. It's pal, but too short. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't fuck around with your name if it's, uh, you know. What's the opinion of the new label leader? I actually haven't looked into it enough to be able to form a full opinion. Uh, in time. In time, I need to actually know do some reading. Right Hero in green 13. Thank you for such prime. I appreciate you. Fourth new sub today. Hope you're enjoying the goblin content. Come on. Oh, I want a one drop. Okay. Do we just petal and see? Yeah. Petal, smuggler's copter. Then um, next turn, attack with smuggler's copter. Do we value our copter over our Gwenzo? The question is, do we feel okay getting dazed or forced here? That's um, the question. I think... What does goading even do again, anyone? Okay, you target a creature, and then that creature has to attack this turn. Fucking hell. Um... Okay. I'm going to leave with Grenzo because I don't want my copter to die because I think our copter is more important. Okay. Our copter is, car is more reliable card advantage than Grenzo. For sure. Exactly. Well, it's not card advantage. Grenzo is literal advantage where Smuggler's Copter is just filtering quality. Well, we can exit out of... It's a target player's library, I believe, so we can... Steal their stuff. No, the, the, yeah, yeah. It, this is advantage. This is filtering. That's ah. what I'm saying. Oh, this yeah, because it's looting, isn't it? The smoke yeah, stuff. this you discard to draw. This, oh, sorry, not discard to draw. You draw and discard, sorry. Yeah, you loot. This is literal card advantage. Like, casting other people's brainstorms seems pretty good. <laughs> you must attack someone other than you or a planeswalker you control with Fable. But they attack you if they if there's no one else, right? Because I think the whole uh, point is you you can go their Lurises into attacking and block them like one ones and shit, kill them off. That's what I was reading. Um, Goblin Lucky tweeting about. Yeah, it works in the library that you hit, the, the library of the player that you hit. They didn't daze it. They didn't force it. They thought long and hard about it. They might have been reading it because let's be honest, Lorenzo has not been it's not one you see every day. That's true. Exactly. Now, Liam McCopt, we could have swum with a 3 3 next turn by playing the Grenzo. But like I was well, saying, that was, I, I was, that was the line I was. Yeah, about. yeah. I just, that I, is a big investment. They could easily counter the copter or counter the creature, and then we exactly. don't get any copter attacks. So there's a lot more wheels involved. I just think that I'd rather this survive. I was, expect, I was expecting full bar days or a force there. That's what I was expecting. I mean, we could have led with this, but this I don't think they would have wasted the spell on potentially. But maybe I'm. Maybe I just undervalue one mushroom too much. Okay. So. Ooh. That's pretty. That's a pretty good magic card. Let's go. I think we swing, swing first. So we hit a cantrip. Yeah. If, if they, if they, a plush and a snake, we can manage next with the snake. Ooh, do we have to cast one of their spells. Okay, I'm in love with this card. I love casting other people's shit. In like Legacy, <laughs> especially. Grenzo is pretty good. Okay. Oh. You can't cast lands, right? It's just cast? Yes, yeah, just cast. You can't play lands. If the spell says cast chat, you can't play lands off of it. Okay. That's Second main phase. Little... Copter or marshal. marshal? So they might still have a daze in the, in the tin, right? They just don't think Grids is enough. They're wide. Also, this fucks with their brainstorms. Oh, that is fun. Right? They brainstorm you like, oh, here we come. And they're like, well, just <laughs> guess the goblins. Oh, think of the flavour. Grenda's like, get in there, boys. And all the goblins are like ripping apart your best laid plans. Oh, that's so sick. So is it Grenzo or a creature you control? It's cre well, X to a player's library whenever a creature you control is combat with a player. So if we hit with three, we get three right triggers. Now. Impressing the that's heck out of me. It's insane amounts of card advantage, isn't it? 100%. I don't think I have this in my purple stack in Commander, and I really should. Thank you, Caleb! 3023. Yeah, 
You know Gwenzo is each creature. There, there we go. Yeah, Aeolus has just been saying what we were saying. Cool. Yep. I should, I think it's I think I I think I think I think I bought a foil one uh for like real cheap at one of the GPs that this year just gone. But I need to look. I think I did. I think I I don't follow my own Insta, remember if I did. <laughs> 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 I need a personal assistant. Oh thank god that's not a training nemesis. Okay. We tapped out. That was a mistake. But we didn't know what they were, so them, yeah, okay, so them scooping was a good idea. So let's go ahead and make a smallest copter because he can block. We don't have, uh, what's it called? Um, rift cutter or sweep or whatever in our deck. Okay, let's hope this isn't back breaking. Okay, let's hope this Vanilla Mob Blast gets us there, boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can block that with our Smuggler's Copter. We aren't paying the Echo. We're keeping REB up. We drew another. We're... Okay, we're close to killing a Grizzle Brown with double munitions expert here. <laughs> okay, let's go. What is the worst matchup for the bank control deck in modern? Do you mean the singleton deck that I played, or just bank control in general? Because if you're saying general, I have no idea. Lewis Pell passed me. Oh, maybe that was right. Force of will. No, the copter shall pass. Okay, let's draw seven. Try and find another force of will. Fuck it out. What is our fucking planet show and tell? Needle for the Grizzle brand. Yes! We now have a copter! Okay, if we draw another lamb next turn, we can go munitions expert to munitions expert and kill the Grizzle brand. That's going to be pretty good, right? Right? Oh no, has Virgin Media killed Rob? He'll be back. Well, I mean, yeah, they could just fuck us up, right? They have ten cards in hand. Ponder. Okay. If we draw a wasteland, though, we can't do what I just mentioned. I don't know. Virgin Media Internet apparently is bunking up. But then I've always had problems with Virgin before. I've been with Virgin Media back in my first flat at uni, and it was fucking garbage. And my parents were with them when I was at home, and they were fucking garbage there, too. Like, sometimes you make a grizzle brand and lose. It just happens. I mean, I'm not saying it's likely, but sometimes it happens. Astrolabe, sure. I'm on BT. I'm with BT. If BT want to reach out and sponsor a young, handsome, good-looking, very sweary uh, YouTuber who makes videos about magic and card games and shit, I'm your boy. Come get me, BT. Assassin's Trophy, my copter. Well, that gets us a mountain. Another one. That gets us a mountain. Now the question is whether they're going to have another force in hand, right? They're going to seven us here. Another one. Well, Blastoise, we have a, we have a kill spell for the Grizzle Band in hand with these two. It's whether or not they have another force. They really do hit that copter. Okay. Go to combat attack. Exile. 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 So I'm hoping we exile three force rules here and then we know they've got another force of will. Brainstorm. 
Omniscience and Ancient Tomb. Okay. Well. Let's see if they got some forces. Shoot them for four. I'm thinking of drawing seven here. That's interesting. Pew. Good, Pat Jabba. I'm glad. I'm glad I can soothe you to sleep, my friend. I'm assuming they're going to have a force. If they don't, they're going to draw seven here, going to five, try and find another force. We are playing the Lurus version of Goblins at the moment. Oh my goodness, we killed a Grizzlebrand. Now, they could untap and go show them some distance we lose. Or they could untap, cast a lot of cantrips and die. There are many things that could happen. They're on five. So we've killed the Grizzlebrand. So I've played quite a bit of Show and Tell. Not the green blue one, but the red blue one, and different Show and Tell variants in paper. And I have had games where I have spanned my fucking wheels. Now there's a very good chance here they have Show and Tell Omniscience, um, uh, Wish or Cast Shared Summons, or Wish for the Shared Summons, and get an Emrakorn and Grizzlebrand. That's very, very likely. Or they cast Eureka. Which is even worse. Okay, let's put a lackey into play then. So they put an omniscience into play. Okay. May the other 13 cards just be ponders, preordains, and brainstorms. Come on. One time though, Grizzly. Vista. Okay. Land, yep. Land, yep. Yeah. I put show and tell the library. Put Assassin's Trophy into the library. If they don't have wishes, counter things, if the hand is 15. Okay, so we're, we're basically dead at this point. So if I go Eureka, Omniscience. And then they can cast the counter in the hand anyway off the Omniscience to find what they need. I'm going to drop Rob for a bit while I can't hear him. I'm going to put a trophy on top of the library. Yeah, yeah, there's... Everyone doesn't seem to understand that you can beat Grizzlebrands in Legacy. Like, we may not, but there's definitely ways to beat them. Like, the amount of time I've been hit by Emrakul for playing D&T, like, even at GPs... Like, I had an opponent cast a Eureka and just fucking die the next turn. But yeah, this is why this is why Lex is interesting, because you normally have the toys and the tools to fuck about. No, they have an Emrakul. Now, we have no flyers, so we're dead. Cool. Okay, so they got there. But they didn't have it, they had to ponder for it first. Okay, so we didn't, we didn't know they were show and tell. We now do. Um... We want crater makers to kill emeralds. We want copters to block emeralds and crystal plants. We want a needle as well. Do we even want oath? We probably don't. I thought they were a control deck. Cage does not stop having recall, no. Because they're casting it from hand, or they're grabbing it from the cyber, putting it into their hand, and then casting it from hand. Okay. We're on the play. I don't feel favoured in this matchup, but I just feel unwinnable. Choose Lewis. 
Mm. We have a Caracas and some Wastelands. So traditionally against Blue Red when they're playing like Ancient Tombs, City of Traders and, and uh, Volcanic Islands, the Wastelands would be good. But they played a lot of basics, didn't they? Because they're an Astrolabe deck. So traditionally a Caracas plus these would actually be spells. No, we can't keep this. Keep this. I'm gonna play a lot of basic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, we probably want the fanatic over the skirk to actually try and kill them. So we're gonna go. If they have a force here, we're gonna feel bad. I think I'm gonna go Loris into Lackey. It's my plan here. Is that all in? <laughs> Adam, I'm going to recast the petal and use it to play Lackey. Oh, there's force. Okay, that's really unfortunate. I just wanted not to have force for. Okay. Well, we're not fucked, fucked, but we're not in a good spot now. We could have played like Mog Wall Marshal and Lackey, I guess. So we just had three cards in hand and one land in play on turn one. What? The fuck? Is that on board? I, I literally don't know what you're talking about. I have three la uh, cards and. And. Sure. Okay. Right. Shit joke. Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> Crate maker's good. Because if it lasts, wow, the, the Grizzle Brown getting bounced by Caracas last game, they would have uh, still drawn loads. Yeah, but his Force of Will was on the card that we cared about. And it also got a three for two. We want to draw a land. So we can play Crater Maker. We'll make create make off of Lackey and keep it up. Petal's not terrible. So they show and tell we can make a crate maker off of the show and tell and still have mana up to uh, kill an emerald if they make an emerald if they make a grizzle burn we feel a lot worse oh we're not playing any card yorian now we played any card yorian last round we're now playing last round last last league we're now playing lurus gobos need to adjust the stream decker stuff Because normally, normally you have Sting Scourger to go get with your like tutors to be able to bounce their like creatures and stuff, but Harry Otter, show and tell was our opponent's deck. Okay, here comes a show and tell. Omniscience means we're basically fucking dead. Hello again. Hello again. Ay 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 ay. Okay, three cards in hand. What have they got? Please not a grizzle brand. How are you doing, Rob? Was it Virgin being shit? Yes, it was, once again. 
kind of frustrating. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear it, buddy. If they've got an Emerald Corn Hand, they can cast it and get another turn. We can kill it with Crater Maker, but they do get to untap and draw a card. When I'm listening to some play, like your Ponders, your Preordains, and your Brainstorms are really, really good. They've got a Wish, which is even worse for us, because they can now go Wish, Shared Summons, Cast Shared Summons, get a Grizzle Brand and an Emrakul. They cast wow. both, we kill the <laughs> Emrakul, they then take another turn where they hit us with Grizzle Brand, and they get to draw between 14 and 21 cards. They didn't, they got Eldamory's Call instead. Why didn't they get Shared Summons? Not running it. That seems loose as fuck. Maybe they've Weird. got one already in hand. No, because I don't play them in the main. I play them uh. only in the side to wish for. Maybe they haven't updated. No, I'm talking old tech Aeolus. Like, uh, shooting for shared summons and shared summoning for Emrakul. It's quite normal. Maybe this is better for some reason, but I don't know why. But Shared Summons gets you both. This is why Shared Summons is so good. Okay, they're going to get another turn. The thing is, if they hit, they need to hit another land and they can discard two cards, put back in the hand and go again. So I guess we just kill the... Um, well, killing the Emrakul shuffles things in, right? So... Yeah, but that's still... I don't think that make That does make that much difference, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just wondering if I do it this turn or after their draw step. Because if we do it before they draw something, they might draw this Misty, or they might draw, it puts more hot air in their deck, right? Yeah. But it's also one more Emrakul to draw. Hang on. Okay, I'm going to do the main phase of their new turn, because I don't want to redraw the Emrakul and then just get to go again. Okay. Because the, the recharge of them redrawing the Emrakul seems bad. It's very low chance. Yeah, but I mean... A th I guess a, a 3 in 46 is worse for them than a 4 in 40 in 50, I think. Playing is that right? Out, right? Is that right or not, chat? Or am I doing my maths wrong? I do math says I need more than 15 <laughs> cards in your yard or something like that to make the graveyard outweigh the Emma Okay, so it's correct to not give them the redraw or the chance to redraw. Okay. Can the last three cards in the hand just be... Well, it doesn't matter. Even if... It... We're just so fucked. If the last three cards are just lands, they go land, cast this, activate it. Oh, oh they don't even have the mana. They don't even... No, that's someone. They even cast it for mana when they didn't need to because they've got an omniscience. <laughs> Wait, they aren't activating it? What the fuck? They're waiting for us. Uh, what? We get another turn? We shouldn't have. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's probably not going to matter, but that shouldn't have been that way. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 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 Wait, we just blow up omniscience. Oh, we do. But at ancient speed, they can activate the fair wishes to put it in the hand as a sorcery. So, uh, as a sorcery. So, so do we? 
Yes, yes, we kill the omniscient here, right? Yeah. The thing is, we can't get through this. Is there a world where we kill the? F oh, they bounce it response, don't they? Another one. This is one of the last two cards. A count the spell of any description. That isn't days. If they've gone like keep two blue cards, one of which is force of will, that's next level. Well, it doesn't matter because they can cast force of will for five mana for the like that. So oh, they did keep force. Yeah. But I don't understand what the fuck they're doing. I literally don't understand. Maybe we should have waited for them to activate the Fae. But this. Mm. Yeah, because they still the Oh, okay. They wanted to keep the Force of Will up in case we had Pyroblast or Red Elemental Blast. They're playing around counter magic, I think. Right. Okay. Hmm. So I guess we just draw a card. Well, we have to act like we've got another Pyroblast. So there you go. <laughs> okay, well, Pyroblast isn't an out to the Omniscience now. I'm so confused. I'm sure they could have killed us. Maybe I should have played the Luris. Okay, now we can not play the Luris. Yeah, we can play the oh, Okay. <laughs> the, the tango continues, Rob. Okay. If they activate Fair of Wishes... The returning is part of the resolution, so we can kill it in response. Thing is, they can cast any spell they draw. So if they're drawing cantrips, they can just cast the fucking cantrips to dig for their stuff. Okay, they activate this. They discard Show and Tell and Misty. We destroy the Fae by making a red mana off of a goblin, or do we just use the petal? No, off the goblin, because the petal allows us to cast Lewis next turn. Okay. Right. Okay. They're now in top deck mode. As long as I don't top deck Grizzlebrand or Emrakul, we should be okay. <laughs> so, no. They didn't top deck that. Or... Okay, cool. So then we're going to untap. We're going to draw Bloodstone Maya. We're going to crack the Bloodstone Maya. Go and get Badlands. Oh, Lewis is in our graveyard. Of course it is. Of course it is. I'm an idiot. So it's incorrect to do what you're doing. What are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Hello, dude. How's Bombus. things in Vinceland today? Okay. Things in Vinceland are good, my friend. We're trying to fight our way through double omniscience here. Which <laughs> tension, because like every cantrip gives them like the ability to look at three more cards. Yep. They also have a fetch land in play. Oh, so if they don't like it, they can just shuffle it away. Okay, let's just get the Vincent again. Grenzo would be our best top deck. Team to ten. We have to we have to hope we fade an actual spell for like three turns. <laughs> also, they can hit cantrips and find off my land. That's another thing that can happen. I was saying this to chat earlier. Chat like, how do you win from here? I'm like, sometimes you just draw fucking nothing. Because I've played this deck a load of times, like the old versions of it anyway. This list is from a Twitch user called Goblin Lackey One. I recommend people who follow him. He's going to be playing later on this list as well. Apparently, Jim Davis also a five over this list earlier. Okay. So we are what? Three turn clock. There he is. Goblin Lackey One's still in the chat. There it is. All right, good fashion. If you win with a bunch of more ones, I'll have a Patreon again. Oh, fuck! Wow! <laughs> Pressure's on. 
did we cyber a lot burnout? We did, didn't we? The two burn spells, the 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 seal and the lightning bolt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So Mog what Mogfanak is another bit. Of, oh no! Okay. Hope they cast Brainstorm to see three lands, or they find Force of Will, Force of Will land. Because <laughs> we don't give a fuck about Force of Will anymore. Jesus. Also, he says, uh, yeah. oh, oh, okay. God. They, did, they didn't that like what they found, but it might mean that their next card is a cantrip. What they found was two lands and a cantrip. But what the what the brainstorm did was put the cards in their hand back up to the library and shuffle them away. Oh. Come, hey, Astrolabe is a, is a fresh draw. Bridge. Tab, we were, on, we were on 80 cards for the companion. Oh, okay. They are on five, though. They are on five. What can we draw to do with this? Uh, the flood is real. This is not the time. It's not the time. So, yeah, people in the chat who've never beaten Omniscience before actually surprises me. Like, how much legacy have you played? Surely you've beaten Omniscience before. Have you not played any, like... Yeah, drawing four straight lands. No, it was far... We were on one land when this began. We've drawn... Another one. Oh, we have drawn four straight lands. That's right. Yeah, oh, we can swing... Oh, oh Admiral there. Blastoise, you're so correct. That doesn't matter. We could have swung and sacked whatever they blocked to get in life. Okay, doesn't matter. They've won. Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, we could see if they fuck it up again, but I'm not here to, like, watch them jump through hoops and fuck it. Okay. I swear we oh, played a match already. That was tough. That was tough. And that was frustrating. But it was good. It was a good game. Start on blocks. Hey, Lewis, it's really hard to block a 7 7 life linking creature with your 1 1 ground, guys. So, uh, uh, so there's a, there's a, like, to get into top eight of this, uh, the first, I think it's the first, um, Axiom Legacy Masters here in England, that when they ran it, it was a bit smaller. Uh, I was paired up against, I think, I don't want to use the name in case it wasn't them, because they were quite salty afterwards, it's a friend of mine, and they were on Omnis Show, and they get an Omnis into play, and all I've got, all I'm doing is hitting them with a 2-2... Two, two, uh, Mishra's workshop or whatever. And the game's gone really long. Kind of like that game just then. And then on the last... T uh, I think I ended up killing the Omniscience with a Council Judgment. So that's how they get... The game's gone long. I'm hitting them for 2-2. They go down like 14, 12, 10, 8, 6. And I kill it with a Council Judgment. And they're like, fuck, I can't believe... And they, this is what Dig Through Timers do. They cast two Dig Through Times and failed to find anything. Like that got them anywhere. They were just literally just like... Firing off all this like hot air, dig through times and ponders and shit, and getting nowhere. They were really tilted. I killed the omniscience. They untap. Uh, they draw a brainstorm. They cast brainstorm. They crack their fetch. So now the cards in their hand are all fresh, right? And they cast show and tell. And I uh, put a ether swan canvas into play. They put an omniscience into play. They're on four at this point. And they go to cast a spell off the omniscience, and I stop them and say, "Sorry, you can't cast anything else. There's ether swan canvas in play. You've already cast a spell for the turn." I'm like, oh shit, yeah. And they're on four. They've got the Emperor <laughs> as well. Um, hang on, yeah, does that make sense? Brainstorm, put two cards, but three, find three cards, put two cards back. Does that make sense? Because they're definitely on four. I untap, but I've got Factory plus Canist to exactly kill them. And they're the most tilted... Put they're, this friend now doesn't play much magic because they were a tilt fucking sack. I think you've met them, Rob, <laughs> but I won't say who they are on strings. They're still active on Twitter and stuff. But they were fucking angry. They were really fucking angry. And to be fair to them, they cast two dig through times. They took 16 cards and failed to find an Emrakul or a Grizzle Brand. So, but then again, I've played that deck and fucking done the same thing. Like, sometimes it just happens. The first time playing in America, my first, no, the second, sorry, the second event I played it in, my first run of point was on DNT and they, they beat the shit out of me and they're like, oh, I'm a really big fan of your content. I was like, cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> As they, like, beat me to death with two canonists. Um, this sounds fine. So yeah, my point is, my point is, Omniscience is beatable. Omniscience is really beatable. If you didn't set the Goblin for the Pyroblast and did the attack and sack blocker for last attack, you could have lethal. Is that true? 
So that lost you the game. That does make sense. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah. I should have done that. I, in my head, I thought we had Lois in our command zone, which we did not. So yeah, there you go. We could have won that match. There are many, many ways to win games of magic, and uh, fucking things up isn't one of them. Uh, let's go. I kind of want to turn on Pardo, but it's probably not right. Probably not. Well, I could have known Aeolus if I'd fucking figured out what was going on. Ah, uh, Galen, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, we're going to cast Seal of Fire here so we can cast Lewis next turn. I have to get a bad land to be able to do that, which opens us up to Wasteland, which isn't great. A Goblin, this kills Arcanist if you just shoot them and then replay it and shoot them. Yeah, uh, there's, like, same with Storm. Storm does can, like, Storm's beatable, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it's beatable. Like, we've been on stream, I've been in games all the time. Like, people in chat were, like, losing their minds as soon as there's a Wizard Brandon play. You gotta play two outs. Not yeah, I mean you've gotta you got you gotta oh, play fuck. to is the this, end. Is this Whoa, Belcher? This might be Belcher. This looks like Belcher. Oh so. they're probably pissed off as we were chatting our fucking story. They're like, I just wanna go off, goddammit. <laughs> I just wanna win on turn one. This is Belcher. Maybe they go for the empty of the warring slide and we might still win. Wastelands look pretty shit now, don't they? Mm-hmm. What did they get? They got Rite of Flame off of the Burning Wish. Lightning I'm Bolt into mind, grave, mind, mind Break Trap. Right. Can we beat this? We've got a 3-2 Lifelinker, which makes it hard for them to swing into, right? Because we seal a fire one away. We cast the Lurus. We replay Petal. Can we beat it? Can we beat it? So they attack for how much next turn? 15, we 14. We need Chain Whirler. So we kill one. 16. They attack for 15. We block one. So it's 14, but we gain three. So it's 11. We get a five. And then we just need to draw a Chain Whirler, which we don't have in our deck. Cool. <laughs> Mind Break Trap is our only answer to this. I know we can't play Whirler in our Lurus deck, Goblin Lucky. Come on. Okay. Let's just play it out, but we are fucked. Grenzo doesn't do anything. Let's go black, black, colourless. Cast the lowest. That bolt changed everything in terms of uh cancel. What the fuck is my motor doing? I wanna cast the lowest. We need sideboard tech. EE -E in the sideboard. EE might be okay in the main board. Nah, I guess we don't have enough colours, right? Uh, okay. Like a mog. Can a mog fanatic shoot creatures? Yes. So we could, like, draw mog fanatic, play it, kill. Oh, he didn't replay the petal. Oh. That's massive. That's absolutely massive. Like. Ah, oh, because there's no way we win. Because we can't play two red spells next turn. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we have any ways to beat them, but it's worth playing out, right? Like, Caracas doesn't do anything. No. Oh, well. Okay, so they're Belcher. Or could they be Mono Red Storm? But I'm pretty sure they're Belcher. I'm pretty sure they're Belcher. They look like Belcher. Mind Break Trap, Pyrokinesis, uh, Needle. And we take out Bolt, Bolt. Seal, three munitions. Yeah. These can blow up the Belcher. Yeah. Yeah, Munitions x have got a lot of value here. Yeah. I'd be as good for Belcher now because they YOLO Echo of Aeons a lot. Oh, of course they do. So they can, because you can just, um, they can play some fast mana, Rob, and they go LED into Echo. 
<laughs> and then just redraw surface. That's why I need to play Chip a bunch in a video again because I fucking love LEDing into it. Okay, let's cut some more removal. Let's cut this. Let's cut one of these. Yeah, Tone One Revoker seems pretty good. Naming Chrome Mox or or Belcher and just fucking praying. Copter is slow, but I mean it's better than these cards, surely. Yeah, it's better than these cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're looking for Revoker or any of our sideboard tech. We've got a turn one no. lackey of a petal. Into a Grenzo? No, we can't keep this. I think it's gonna do it. Nope. An IB we can't cast. Sweet. Yeah, Lamagajira, the Zerda Bomb Man was the plan like last week, but then other things got in the way. A card Gobble was a 3 2, uh, with one buy inverted commas. And now we're playing Lurus Gobbos, which is going a bit worse, but then again, we really play one round, and it's was, it was quite a rough combo matchup. Where are they at, Milgram wise? They've gone to six, so we're going to okay. go to six as well. If we had a red land, I might keep that. Fucking Christ. How many lands this are we is, playing? This is us going to five. How many lands are we playing? 18. 21. Is that 21. too many? No. We're drawing a... Have you seen any fucking drawing? We've mulled a five. They've, they've kept their six. Four. Yeah. Okay, let's give that a shot. This is literally fucking awful. <laughs> yep. Uh stops the lowest value if they've multiplied that in the hand is terrible please go for the echo line please because they play, i think they put echo there used to be like a card that x on top 10 cards you live then drew you seven that was in the sideboard for sometimes when you um go to combo off they've replaced that with echo as far as i understand one main one side go on echo you coward Oh, fuck. <laughs> right, time for the beatdown. Yep, let's go. Let's go, Prospector. Diminishing returns, that's the one. I think that's the one. Is that three or four mana? Belcher is an all in, like, turn one, turn two combo deck that can be a bit grindier if they have the correct cards. But on the whole, they're looking to kill you immediately. Uh, it folds to force will the majority of the time, although it can play for it. There's a lot of caveats of, like, you know. But on the whole, it folds to force of will. And it looks to either char belt you or make loads of empty tokens. What does Ignite the Future do? Excel top three cards in your library and to the end of the game, you play these cards as if. Uh, play these cards as if. Cards as if you play them. This is this really is Mono Red Storm. Yeah, I said it could be. It's unlikely, but it could be. Okay, so these are the dead cards. Whoops. This is the deck that plays the um the, the red spell cost reducing artifact. What's it called? Ruby Medallion, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So Exile Zone is Manimal Foes, Ignite the Future. Okay, let's draw a card. No, let's play a 3-2 Life Linker and go to town. <laughs> Rude medallion, that's it. So I joked that it's Mono Red Storm. See, sometimes it's worth saying the obscure random shit it might be. Because <laughs> it makes you look clever. It does, yes. And god damn it, I need those fucking moments. Yeah, Red Blast is looking fucking awful. Watch them now go Lion's Eye into, into Echo, and I'm just like, fuck me. <laughs> Red of Flame makes three mana. Mm 
Metamorphose for a draw. Hopefully they cast a paint and servant to make everything blue. That'd be great. Oh, that... it's your bonus round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a card. That's a key part of the deck, Rob. We should play this in stream sometime. Oh, the, so I, I'm aware of this deck because people have sent me the list and said I should play it. But also, I've seen loads of screenshots, just bonus rounds like being cast, and then a second bonus round being cast off the first one. So you get like multiple oh. copies of bonus rounds and shit. Wow. Yeah, I've I've seen screenshots of that. That's literally my familiarity with it. <laughs> Petal. Huh? Draw a card. Hello there. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Everything's under control. Oh, fuck. These should be pyroblasts, because then we could target our own things with them to get the fucking count up. Oh, if an opponent. No, ignore me. I play so little. <laughs> literally, I play so minimal Mindbreak Trap that I didn't even know it fucking worked. Okay, land. Act on impulse. One card in hand, but nourish an exile zone. They can't cast bonus round this turn. All good. It's only to end the turn. It looks like they've shut the bed a little bit. It does, yeah. Looks like it didn't quite. I guess they were leaning on that metamorphose to give them something a little bit better than what they got. And the act of impossible. I guess, and also the ley line they're seeing as a counter for our deck, because they didn't know we were goblins. So they, we could have been mm. like some Jund variant for all they knew. Or Loam variant. See? Sometimes empty the warring, war and killing your opponent on turn two or three can be detrimental for this reason. Absolutely, because then you don't know exactly what you're up against. Uh, impulse gives them Ruby Medallion, Ruby Medallion Mountain. Well, it's getting deeper into the deck. Hello, Staxi Boy. Nice name. <laughs> okay. okay. Another answer. If, yeah, well, there we go. Our Pyro Blaster. Our Pyro Blasters are not uh, are used now. Against the empty line. Uh, nope. So we have drawn four sideboard cards, just two of them are fucking shit. Hmm. We need to bring Deference. Oh, fuck, we didn't bring Deference. Oh, we don't have Deference Science in the sideboard of this deck. That was the other deck. Fuck. That was the other deck. Yeah, Deference Science is a very good magic card. I'm a big fan of that card. Lotus Petal, okay. Take him to one. Oh. Is this it? Are they going to no, go off on one? Right but they can't. I don't think they can beat this Mind Break Trap. Trip. Mind Break Trap. Uh, thank you, I'm here for the zombies. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. We're our sixth new sub today. I appreciate you for supporting... The shit that I do to make I you feel at home, you. I'm gonna now shout the word penis and then press the bazinga button. Penis! And stream deck is broken. It's not playing the bazinga clip. Fuck, I'm <laughs> sorry. I've let you down. Uh, okay. Bazinga. Oh, there's the bazinga. A bit late. Uh, cut, to, cut all these REBs. They're fucking shite in this matchup now. Yep. Bring it back in things that can hit them. So. Spellbomb does stop their fucking... What do you call it? Um, mm -hmm. Right of Flame. And the flashback of the other shit. So actually, I think Nihil Spellbomb might be the, the thing. And then bring in bodies again. Yeah, I think so. You play Piff as well. Right, there we go. Spell one was actually a much better include. Uh, graphics is okay. I probably should have brought that in as well because it stops all their flashback spells. If they're playing... I don't know they play Pass and Flames, as Scobin Naki just pointed out. So Pass and Flames plus the other thing we saw that had the four front end, seven back end. Um, okay. Oh, God. This is a really solid hand, except for the fact that it doesn't do anything to their storm. 
Yeah, if they could just go off, then we are sunk. They've begun the game with seven cards in hand. I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, we mulligan this. Spellball. I mean, Golden Crepemaker can kill the medallion. Okay. True. Oh my god. Keep it. Do we hope Crate Making can get a Chrome Mox or Medallion? And yeah, at least that's we can do it. Just find Trap easy. Yeah, no, that's that's my thought. Is we might have gone a bit further for Trap. Like, are we in for a penny, in for a mind break trap? Is that what we're doing here? I, I don't want to put my name to that strategy. Well, they've kept a seven, so their seven's probably pretty good. Oh, the the needle is bad now that we know they're not Belcher. <laughs> I got the shot, don't worry about it. Alright? Okay. Just yep. believe in yeah. me. I trust you. They've got to be scared of Mind Break Trap now, right? <laughs> They've got to be scared of the Mind Break Trap. I'm not even going to play the spell on turn one, Rob. <laughs> Come on, a real four ley lines. Oh, fuck. Okay. Man, our seven would have been so good, wouldn't it? Like, compared to this, I mean. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just full of action and gas and cards and card advantage and all such. Yeah, our hands have been pretty fucking bad with this deck. I kind of want to go back to 80 card Yorian now. Okay. This is where the Crater Makers would have been so good. Mm. Okay. Just pretend you've got mind break trap, Vince. <laughs> it worked against the sneak and show player when they just like sort of just passed the turn for no reason instead of like wishing. Hopefully their hand is just all flashback cards Rob, and they're like, fuck, a spell bomb? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we might be seeing empty the warrens in our future. No, nope, they got bonus round. Oh no! Lucky, do you think I was right to go deeper? Try to find my break trap or similar? I'm not gonna lie, the lowest version of Goblin seems to have an absolutely dog shit matchup against Storm decks. So I'll just combo in general from the looks of things. Like, show and tell mm -hmm. felt rough, but this feels even rougher. I mean, the sideboard's not as optimized to fight Storm, is it? Yeah, but maybe it fucking should be. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I guess Mono Red Storm is also quite rogue. You're 4 0 versus Storm. What are you doing? Just getting lucky. Oh, I mean, no, no, I don't want to sound condescending, not lucky. What I'm saying is, like, what the fuck are you doing to beat them? Like, playing a cage? Playing your one off cage and being like, YOLO, got them. Okay, so they can cast this stuff until next turn, right? Mm -hmm. Mono Red Storm is not a deck. It's pretty yeah. funny when people say those sort of things as you get your head kicked in by one of those decks. That's my favorite. <laughs> we are so fucked next turn, it's not even funny. How is Grenzo good against Storm? I respect you, but I just don't see it. Oh, you cast their discard spells. Cool. Have you thought about, you know, I don't know, playing your own discard spells? <laughs> like playing actual proactive spells? Because what if you just hit their fucking lands every time? I mean, right to play the you're more likely to hit their lands than you are. Or their mana sources. Oh, was it right to play the copter? Who fucking knows? Was it right to queue this deck and get, by perchance, match up its mono red storm? That is the real question. Lion's Eye Diamond. Cool. Cool, cool. 
Water Flames number one. Cool. I mean, surely Cabal Therapy must have some legs alongside Luris somehow. Maybe in the cat oven Luris deck. <laughs> I really want to try it. If you, play, <laughs> if you play Red Black, you play Croaxer too. It's just the Red Black sacrifice you get from Standard, but with like Cabal Therapy and Lotus Petals. Pimples. What have you been up to, Vince? Ah, oh, streaming, buddy. <laughs> I've been here streaming. Now we've been stomped with the second combo deck in a row. Let's just... I, I can't... I don't want to spend the time waiting to see if they fuck it up. Because the chances of fucking <laughs> up are very slim. Alright, let's give it one more shot. Shitty beard boy, Seth. I will. I will. I will piss all over his fucking vegetables. So I was thinking more about the loan deck that we played Rob, a couple, a couple of weeks back when Lois mm -hmm. first came out, or a week or so ago. And I think, ooh, Dranith Magistrate on the board, and you just play Goyf, so you're just loaning yourself into these big old boys. Also, I think Grim Flayer must have some sort of room in a lower shell, whether it be the loan variant or not, because Grim Flayer obviously gets Delirium on line with a 4 4 death, uh, death touching, uh, sorry, 4 4 Trampler. But at the same time, we can also put Castle Trampler Library into your graveyard to be cast with Lois post combat. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that. In fairness, we should have won that signature match. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna blow my tiredness a little bit there when I um when I where I thought we had access to Luris still, so I like saved my black source and I was like, oh, I've just reduced our damage for no fucking reason. We've won the die roll. Come on, let's do this. I believe let's in this deck. There. I don't think this deck is bad at all. I think it's probably better than our Yorian deck, but we're just getting a bit unluckier. A league is five games, Harry Otter. Five games. Three, two bricks you even. Four, one is better prizes, and five are is obviously the dream, but we rarely get those. It's a Lurus Mirror. Interesting. Seems pretty good. Yes, yeah, hands got lands and spells. It's better than most of our hands so far tonight with this <laughs> deck. Uh, yeah, okay. Just part of me wonders, at the point you're playing Lurus in this kind of shell, whether you should even be goblins at all. That's the bit that I'm wondering. Right. Like, why aren't you just on, like, Cat Oven? Is Cat Oven better than Slacky, for example? Because Slacky just does not seem good in this deck. Like, it can't get the goblins out of your bin. It's getting you at most a two drop. When Lacky is at its premium... When you're getting five drops. Yeah, when you're getting like Siege Gangs or four drops. Or you're hitting, or you're putting like Ringleader into play and then trigger, go get a load of good goblins and then trigger your next, and then resolve your next lucky trigger and so on and so on, you know? I don't know if Guide is right, because I think it doesn't seem aggressive enough to capitalise on like the advantage you give them. Yeah, no, I know it's fair in this deck. I just don't know if it's any good in this deck. Like that's just, and that's not me trying. To, I'm not, and I'm not trolling. I'm not trying to provoke or anything like that. I'm actually having a genuine discussion. I just don't see. It. I get mock fanatic. I get scope boss vector. Well, maybe they just draw out their premium removal. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I guess Lackey is still scary in some games. Okay, let's go. They got they got a Caracas for our Lurus, but we can go. Lurus, Mog Fanatic, force them to use Caracas. Yeah. See that. See, this is what videos are for, Goblin Lucky. If you make video content, you can actually explain things like why you think this deck's good with another stuff. One.
another yeah, one. Yeah, that's true. There was a there was a benefit of operating off minimal mana. No worries, Emma Blastoise. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you had a blast more than I did. <laughs> It is funny how playing with companions feels a little bit like 1v1 Commander. <laughs> like, they've got a Lurus, we've got a Lurus. Somehow Caracas is legal in all this. I see what you mean. Like, and you have those options, you know, you've got the 8 card hand. and If they play their own like... Lurus here, I'm just going to murder it with Mog Fanatic. Yeah, I think it's... That's the right thing. And to this do. petal now gives them plowshares from my Lewis. In which case that turn was fucking godly. Oh no. Oh oh, oh okay. Um yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> a roller coaster of emotion. It was indeed. Let's go get a mountain. Let's sack this, shoot this, play the Mog Fanatic, shoot this. Play this. Get in for three. We can Caracas my Lurus, which is fine, because we just replay him and get a Lurus pedal off movement at the worst. I don't know NWS on Dawn. That's an interesting point. If you crack us your own Lurus, do you, do you get like a reset? You do, says Arsis. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. It's like they um, they count as different objects. Is that the thing? Yeah, objects. sounds about right. Vile on three with Lurus and a Caracas seems good then. It's like, uh, like bouncing your Azusa. To put it in terms you understand. Hmm. That doesn't work like that. Huh. <laughs> it used to, but they changed the rules. So, like, you have a land up quota that adds up and up as you go. So we can play Mog Fanatic, shoot, plus two, fuck. There's going to be a window where we can't kill this. We can go Crater Maker it, replay it, Crater Maker it again, but then the crack is still up. I think we have to do that. I think so. How is coal good here? It'll be, it will be good, sure. Pedal sack. Pedal. Pedal sack. Cool. Okay. Pedal. Crater. Cool. Crater. But I can do that without wasting my coal, right? I guess coal gets us back the kills of the tent as well. This feels pretty good. Yep. Some value. Oh, this has Death Touch now. Oh, the Death Touch changed all of that. This. Oh, what? you could just. Yeah. Oh, I gave oh, one of the I menace. Yep. Wait, what? I want to put Death Touch on the. Wait, put a Death Touch. Oh, fucking hell. I thought it was just two death touch counters. Ah, and you make the choice <laughs> when you click the you make the choice when you click the graveyard. Uh yeah, okay. No 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 no. You you have you have a menace and a death touch counter and they go in order on Modo. Oh, okay. oh god, that was fucking dumb. Huh. Yeah. I didn't realise I thought it was just I didn't know it gave a menace counter. 
I thought it only gave I thought it gave a death touch counter and a death touch counter. I don't know why. Or why I'm followed. Okay, that's cool. If you if play mistakes upset you that much, Slacky, then see you later. <laughs> Meddling mage. That'll be able to name my crater maker. Oh, they want to keep their, my, their Caracas up short. I'm just going to fucking kill this now. Fuck that right up. Mm -hmm. I thought they both were Death Touch, but I didn't even realise that I didn't think of the Death Touch plus the damage anyway. The reason I clicked it the way I did is I just thought they both were Death Touch. They're going to name Lurus so they can bounce my Lurus. That's pretty strong, honestly. That's really good. Let's go, Let's go. For now, Lotus Petal. I mean, it stops our one, but our Lotus is stuck in our hand. If we draw them, we don't give a shit about them, but they might do to draw more cards and shit. Yeah, makes sense. I guess there's Bauble as well, maybe. Who knows? Name Mum. Oh, yeah, they are humans. Mother Runes probably would be better. I haven't thought of that. Dark Confidant, sure. Fucking Christ. I wish I'd have realized the whole Death Touch thing. This game would be very different. Yeah. 7-7. Seven, seven. Fuck me. Jesus. <laughs> so we can play Lurus this turn. Sorry, we can play Crate Mate this turn, kill the Meddling Mage in combat next turn, and to have him play Lurus. Yeah, yeah, so we have to sling off the expert. Question is, do I buy slam them to minimize the spells they can cast next turn? I think you do, yeah, hundred percent. Take him off. Could take him off blue with the cavern, but I think have them having the fucking Caracas is a pain in the ass. Then we've got infinite blockers thanks to Lurus. They found another meddling mage. You've got to be fucking shitting me. Jesus. Should I take him off blue. Yes. Should I take him off, and they had another Caracas anyway. Oh. oh for well, 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 well. Fuck me then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they still have nobles. Take them off blue wasn't even a thing. So they go to blocks. They attack me. I'm going to go to blocks like this. Block here. Okay. Kill this and then just replay mage. Have you seen the clown that hides from people who don't have the best beard in MTG? They hide from people that don't have the best bid in MTG. And they wouldn't be hiding from me, would they? So of course I've seen them. They actually suck on my balls a lot. Maybe they don't play... Maybe they don't name Lurus here. I mean... Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's all the line. So we've got Lackey to crew the copter. Roker to go and fight the meddling mage. Or just Lackey to go under the bus, I guess. Mm hmm. Um. Acoustic in a cam on. We don't use that word here, so please don't. It's your only warning. Mm. 
The hit over one to six. Okay. They cast the noble. No, they crack the horizon canopy. Okay. Mm -mm. Sure. We need a dark confront to just hit two drops for like three turns in a row. Oh, oh yeah, that will work. No fast way to kill somebody than with their own deck. <clears throat> cool. Just can't get yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, no. creature deck. Creature deck. We think they're playing Vile. Or we can Probably. name Kamakas a Wasteland as well. Uh, Ice of Ghouls, I guess. Maybe. Question mark. Got the Pile Drivers. Cut one Mog. Cut one Gwenzo. One revoker. Maybe cut both revokers. Mm. Yeah, let's keep access to the revoker. Okay. Not that we have any tutors, but but you never know. They'll they'll play a mum more top deck here and be like, whoa, yellow. Right. Who knows? What we're drawing. I choose you, Lewis. Come on, look after me. Look after me. Okay, this isn't bad. Got removal. Yeah, we've got like fucking almost no mana though. Okay. True. Catch you later, Robert Smith's brother. I think we have to mulligan this. Okay, let's go six. If this is a skirt prospect, it would be different. True. What on the wasteland or the pale? Wasteland. Because petal we can use to cast Lurus. Yeah, okay. We switched to Lurus, yeah. We had a better time with we had a alright time before that though. Um Goblin. Prospector. Prospector. That's the deck list that we were playing before, I'm afraid. That was the Yorion variant. This version just doesn't feel as good as even the loan deck we're playing, you know? Mm -hmm. They're going Petal, Wasteland. Interesting. Petal, okay. Hierarch, Wastelanders. Yeah. Sure. And we want to we want to draw like a oh, noon. Not that. Either our hands have been bad or the deck is shit. But like, Jim Davis is 5 0 this morning with 20 lands, they said. Mostly a better pilot, but still, this just feels so shit. Like, sometimes you play a deck and it feels really powerful, but you still, like, fuck it up. I just don't feel like coming and driver's seat at any point in these matches. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, re I'm not really seeing the the benefit here. Like you said, like if we're, if we're doing this, why aren't we doing that? Like, why are we going with goblins? Yeah, there are more, like I'd rather be playing arcanists and delvers, or thalias and goiths. Fucking hell, this is awful. No, okay, we'll try another round. This is just terrible. What were we drawing after this? Oh no, Modo won't show. Oh, it will show us. Maybe 21 cut lands isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. 21 lands, 4 petals. We managed to draw 1 land, 1 petal and then get absolutely fucked. 
Uh, Legacy H1, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't think there was anything in the latest set for Modern Dredge, right? Yeah, the Ox last set. Yeah. Right. Can this game redeem it for us? Can we have a hand that looks good? Can we have a hand that doesn't look like a foot? We've had such fucking bad hands. I think perhaps I'm being unfair to the deck as well, because like... We got we were luck sacking out with the Yorian variant, and then we got very unlucky with the Loris variant. Mm. Which is funny because coming into the stream, I was saying how I wish Twitch had voted for us to play Loris. <laughs> and now yeah, I got your wish and it's not really panned out. No, I guess just playing the goblins deck feels better when you have access to all the cool, powerful goblins that allow you to do lots of cool stuff. But at the same Which time, perhaps Perhaps I'm more used to playing that version, so I know some of the lines, where this version I don't understand it. It might be that as well. Potentially, yeah, that's very true. You know what? I'm going to call it a day there. This deck's not gelling with me. Let's drop this and return it. Right, thank you for everyone getting involved. I appreciate you yes. all. It's been very fun. The first deck was way better than the second. Big shout out to Goblin Lackey. Let's have a look if they are online. the fuck i just i just loaded up my twitch dashboard and it's showing us in a game where i've got a um like not a thumbnail like it's live playing right now on my dashboard just buffered a bit i've got a ringleader in hand <laughs> there's the the distant past the fuck that's so weird that's oh no very odd. it caught up it caught up okay, okay cool so if you enjoy these streams, by all means, don't forget to hit the subscribe button above my head and you can subscribe if you want to. The best way to support the channel and the YouTube and all the content and shit that I make is to the Patreon because you get access to the Discord channel where we hang out and chat shit. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to raid somebody. Yeah, let's see who's online. Jim Davis is online and he did well with Goblins this morning. So I'm going to raid Jim Davis. Another one. Actually, no, we haven't raided Jamie in a while. That's for Jamie. That's for Jamie. Right. Oh, hang on, is Goblin Lackey online? I will raid Goblin Lackey if he's online. I think he's online for another half hour. Fuck, I searched Goblin. I'm the only person with Goblin their name on the Magic Twitch. Okay. There'll be more Goblin fun over on Goblin Lackey. Goblin Lackey ones Twitch channel, so go follow them there. We're going to go raid Jamie now. Jamie is relatively family friendly. I think she swears a little bit, but don't go in there swearing loads. Uh, the VOD for this stream will be up on Wednesday. We've got Canlander coming up this week. We've got EDH and Chill coming up this week with Benjamin Wheeler, Aaron Campbell of um, Magic Mikes, and fuck. I'm drawing a blank. We have a fourth guest that I can't remember right now, but I am very tired. Uh, there'll be some modern going up tonight. There'll be a Talking Heads video to my secret lair. There's another a star deck video that's coming out hopefully later this week that is different and I don't want to ruin it because I'm hoping with a thumbnail shows up in your inbox. You'll be like, oh, Vince, what the fuck are you doing? Right, let's go and raid. Good old Jamie Tupples. When we get in there, so hit the buttons to join the raid. Let's have at least 100 people going now. Get in yep. there, toot your fucking horns, use your emotes. Rob, do you have anything you want to share with these filthy scoundrels before we go raid Jamie? Uh, no, just thanks everybody for coming, and we'll see you next time. See you later, bunch of sluts. Bye. Oh, if you're on the Discord, look out. We'll be playing some League, no doubt. Right, bye. <laughs>